listening to Misery Loves Company. Company Alive at YouTube.com slash MLC Podcast. Yo, what's up? It's your boy. On? All right, everybody. Uh, Friday, we got a special Friday show. Uh, I guess no one else is doing a show today because because uh, of the holiday. Fuck, I didn't even realize it was a holiday. Oh. No, but she, I guess uh, they can't do the uh, point double point because Carl's doing his uh, thing in Tampa. Mm. And then... Uh, Anyway, we got, we got, we're going to have a lot of fun today. A lot of fun. And actually, uh, we have an announcement beforehand. Everyone gather around. I should probably wait till more people are here. My dad was murdered. No, that's not right. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I hope I get through this. <laughs> I hope I get through this announcement. Oh, shit. I'm just chipping her. I, someone was asking me today, what's going on? I'm like, why do you have to wait six months to announce that you're... That you're dad was murdered so i didn't watch enough yeah. of the video maybe she explained it after that i have no fresh. idea didn't it seem kind of fresh uh yeah but why why, why, about... why would you have why wow, we're coming in hot on a holiday holy shit back what to fucking, back heat what, what fucking holiday is it it's not i'm just kidding oh okay i thought maybe no, it was it's, like... a, it's the tukey holiday it's i thought it was tukey... like a bank holiday or something no it's two for tukey oh. <laughs> no so uh uh <laughs> yeah Anyway, uh, Ray, you want to? You might want to pull over if you're driving to your shitty gig in Harrisburg right now. You might want to pull it on over. Adam has a big announcement. <laughs> I have a big announcement. Don't you? I'm gay. I'm gay. Yeah. Adam's gay. And his dad was <laughs> murdered. <laughs> My dad was gay murdered. He was murdered by a gay. No, I didn't think that you wanted to be so uh, formal about it. I thought I would just like slowly disappear. But what do you mean? Uh, yeah. I'm, well, I mean, isn't that kind of how we do things here? Yeah, but I was gonna do it that way and then uh, say, it, but I, I just, uh, it's whatever. It'll be. I think it'll be more fun this way. Okay. So then we can have like, uh, uh, you know, when Regis and Kathy Lee, and then they have uh, or wins uh, stuttering John's chair. <laughs> Didn't they have a wind stuttering John's chair? Oh, yeah. Anyway, Adam's leaving, everybody. Yeah, Adam leaving. is be... leaving. It's the end of an era. End of an era. Even though a lot of people don't. Uh, some well, people RP, are just starting RP. to figure. <laughs> they were just RP's trying to figure here. out RP's who like, I am. The other guy's leaving? <laughs> he was just warming up on. He, I was just warming up yeah, on. Yeah, most him. of the people that know this show as, if, in the sort of YouTube era don't even know who the fuck I am anyway. So no, they I don't know. think anybody would have noticed. No, they would have noticed. No, I can't. I'm a, I I thought, like, we'll just pretend, you know, we'll do a play it like, uh, no, Adam's just, Adam's taking a, a bunch of days off. No, Adam's right. been, uh, Adam has. in my PTO. Go ahead, Adam. Tell him what happened. No, I'm just cashing in my PTO. What what really actually happened? Yeah, with your you, Adam, just tell oh. me you have a real job and yeah. And, I mean, I have had one this whole time. I just right. I just never talk about it because like because uh, you don't want to get not Joe really, exotic on the case. It's not really safe. It's not really a very safe environment. No, so, it's not. So I keep it very under wraps. I keep my name off of pretty much off of everything. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, we were a uh, company I worked for was acquired by a larger company. I thought I was going to be laid off, but they actually actually kind of got a better job out of the deal. But, you know, my, I got a different boss probably coming up. So, yeah, no, no double dipping anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, because his other for boss, did, the other boss didn't care if he if he worked because uh, you worked at home mostly, right? Yeah, mostly. She actually knew about the show and they, they even lent the uh, remember they lent us the studio one time. Right. Or a couple right. times. Right. Yeah, a couple Pat times. Dixon and uh, Mario Bosco and Lev Fur. Lev Fur, yeah. Yeah, so there she was she was super cool, but I'm kinda like kind of have like a different management and the but they thing. want you to come into the into work. Sometimes I'm going to be, yeah. Sometimes I'll be physically there, 
but a lot of, I mean, a lot of times I'm working from home, but it's like not really a thing where, you know, I, I can't be like, Oh guys, I'm, I, you can't call me after 4 PM, which was basically what they, they allowed me to do, which was nice, but that's not really uh feasible for most jobs. So you gotta, so you, you get a, you got a job where you get more money. Yeah, it is more money too. So that's, that's, oh, that's also part of, part of why I can't really, uh, can't double yeah. dip as much some you know I, I still will be doing some stuff but not i can't do a you know regular drive time show like this every day at least not every day i could probably come on from time to time but as a special guest right as like but you'd have to come uh in you'd have to uh blur out your face. oh no 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 it's nothing like that i'm not going into witness protection oh it'd be funny if you blurred out your face <laughs> that would be actually pretty good Make my voice all garbled. End of an era. Yeah, it would have been, you know, it was going to be, would it have been eight years? Coming up in October. Seven-year itch. <laughs> yeah, yes. Let's see what RP has I'm to gonna say. I'm going to go fuck other shows. RP, he's not here yet. Not yet. Uh, all right, so, uh, yeah, so I, anyway, I was going to pretend like it wasn't happening. Because I Adam told me a long time ago that this was yeah. that this day was coming. So uh, so we've had a we had a couple of conversations where I thought because I thought this was going to happen a long time ago. Yeah, I thought it was going to happen in January, right? I think I thought I think. Oh yeah, you know you thought, was when Bob was yeah there. when Bob left. That's why. Uh, no, I I think I actually texted Bob at one point, oh. and when all the shit was going down, and and before Bob quit, I go well, yeah that was in the summer, right? Where you just thought yeah. you're going to have to quit then. Uh-huh. And then in January, I think you're you thought you're gonna have to quit, and then I'm like, well, as long as he yeah, makes it through ja- well. January, I was like, uh, just so you know, any day now, I'm gonna find out. And then it right. didn't happen until March. Yeah, March. yeah. But then I yeah. thought, uh, as long as you make it to the Super Bowl, uh, because right. I didn't want. Uh... So uh, I'll look but, at this Damn, man, I'm going full time at Thunder down. down yes, from that's down actually there. what it is. How do you know Thunder? How do you know that, Adam? Are Everybody knows what Thunder Down Under is. Yeah. No, they're at the at a, they're a Vegas Review. I thought sure. they I thought they're exclusive to the. Uh, no, I think it's a franchise. I think it's all. What's over the thing uh, where the in Vegas there where Carrot Top is the 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 uh, pyramid, or or the okay. Egyptian uh, yeah the Egyptian pyramid. Oh, they're, is that where the, the Luxor? Is? I think they're at the Luxor at Thunder okay. Down Thunder from Down Under. Anyway, yeah, end of an era. So, uh, so anyway, Ray, uh, I know you're not interested. I know you're not interested. Uh, but you know, we're going to ha- probably have to do win Adam's seat. Adam's, uh, I guess going full time at the other place on April 8th. So yeah, like, be, right? I got a cu- couple of weeks. So, but yeah, two, like, uh, just about two weeks, two and a half weeks from now. So we'll have to do win Adam's seat. Like yeah, they did her at the Win Stuttering John seat. So uh send your resume, send your bios, pictures. Uh speaking of pictures, uh I guess that Asian lady got back to Adam and she said she can, you know, yeah, uh, maybe we'll do very, a weekend show with her. She was very interested. She actually asked if uh, if we ever do anything in person because she's coming in April. Ooh la la. Right? Maybe a special show. Right. That'll probably, I, I think she said later in April, so that'll probably be after I'm... Uh... She said April 5th. She said oh, on really? Ray's show, she's oh. going to be here April 5th. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought Speaking she of said Ray, later. I doubled up on today. Fucking Chad and Stevie Lou just sitting there trashing me. Both liars, 100%. I hate that shit, man. I hate watching shows where the dudes are just sit there and lie the whole time. Well, Kevin would get mad at me that it, I don't watch the show if I'm not on it, and here's why. It's just bashing on me. I don't like, I already feel bad about myself. I already don't like myself. I'm not going to watch a show shitting on me. And especially now, because that's what it's <laughs> like now more than ever, it's just shitting on me. So, like, I don't watch these shows because it's just them shitting on me. And I get it, half of it is for the comedy, but the other half is just, and like, uh, I did watch some of them, like, because um, I went back and watched it because I once it was. Uh, I got messages that I, they're like, Hey, he, uh, privatized the video. It's not up. And then I got messages. I'm like, now let me go back and look at it. Like 
I don't think they get it. What I say a lot of them, yes. I'm, am I a dummy? Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not a dummy. I'm a fucking idiot. But a lot of what I say is just comedy. It's silliness and stupid. I'm not taking this shit serious. It's silliness. And everyone's like, well, what an idiot. He would say, it's like, yeah, this is silly. I'm being silly on purpose. I'm being light. That's the one thing that if it is true that I'm, they don't want me in MLC. If Kevin it's true. Kevin decides that. That's a, I decided it. One thing I do bring that other guests don't bring is just silliness. That keeps it like, it doesn't all have to be like, oh, let's get this guy. This guy's an asshole. I could just talk about my day and be silly. And that brings levity where it doesn't got to be like, uh, let's get Bob Levy. Urgh. Let's get this. Yeah. Guy. I mean, I MLC, bring... like everything on there is a work already. So you might as well. Just... How is everything on here a work? What, what, what the fuck does that even mean? Adam quit already. What does that even mean? Everything here is a work. Adam, or is you leaving a work? Wait, I thought you didn't. <laughs> I quit already. Oh, you quit. Oh, no, Are it's you, very, it's very real. Work? I don't think so. All right. He, uh, the, the quad father just said everything on MLC is a work. I just wanted to check. No, uh, as nice far as I'm aware. Fun no. Like you do. Like uh, like Stevie Lou and Chad think it's such a serious thing. Yeah, and I half the it. shit that comes out of their mouths is, is bullshit. So who cares, dude? What? Anyway, Ray's bringing silliness. That's what Ray brings. And here's Liam again. Uh, you know, Ray thinks all these people are his friends. They're just like manipulating him. Liam's like, I don't know how you got banned from that show, man. I've never been banned from a show. Liam's just fucking with Ray like everyone else. <laughs> but he wants to take the high road. Like, look, I'm trying to help Ray. You're not. You're fucking with him. He's trying to help Ray. I don't know how you got banned from the show. I'd apologize. Right, right. That's what Ray needs to do. That's in Ray's best interest. Well, here's um, your problem. Here's your problem. Right? Like, I would say, normally I would say, well, you can rely on your show. You can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man. It's a bitch girl. You're going too far. And there's and the super chats as like, you know, means of income while you're trying to figure out your next steps. No, you can do that forever, Ray. Next step. Ray don't have no, Ray, Ray, Ray has nothing, no options. Unless he's going to get Adam's chair. Ray, Ray, you left the Shuli network. You make enough in super chats. Again, it's not because you're liked or you have fans. People just love to hate you. you, you there's a guy, there's a guy who Ray hitched his wagon to. Uh, Melton's basically admitting he hates Ray. That's and everybody hates Ray. You'll be fine on your own. You don't need anyone. Again, this is what I'm trying to get. Pat. This is like Melton has any idea. Ray's gonna be fine on his own. Ray lives with his dead parents, friends, and Ray Goots. He don't even have his own lease. He's fifty. I'm gonna miss that soundboard. He's fifty, but he's gonna be okay. Dixon set up this way too. Why? I'm fucking friends with him. I'm not. I know. I know. Kevin's whole thing is like he's stealing all the guests from my show. No, 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 no. Ray's done good things for me. Ray's done nice things to. So wait, Ray's done nice things for Melton. So Melton is like, you know what? I'm gonna pay it forward and give Ray a gig where he doesn't get paid. That's what I do. To me, before I ever knew Kevin Brennan. I, I, I've known Ray for over a decade. We're not close, but I've known. Who's he? Who's Mountain close with? I'm still confused. Why did he just get some LA or Vegas comics? The play, both cities are crawling with comics. Get a couple of LA comics, a couple of Vegas comics. Way cheaper, but he's got to bring Melton. I mean, he's got to bring Pat Dixon and, and uh, Ray DeVito in. Ray it has nothing to do with Kevin Brennan. He goes in the good category for me. You know, he just does. Maybe that's flawed. Pat Dixon has done nice things for me. The first time we ever worked together. I It's in my memory bank. He doesn't have to remember it. Oh, so Pat Dixon doesn't remember Melton. He doesn't ma remember interacting with Melton. But Melton remembers it, and he put it in his bank. He put it in his memory bank. 
if I can ever help out Pat Dixon by offering offering him a gig where he doesn't get paid in Las Vegas, I will give it to him. I will offer him free gigs, non-paying gigs, because I want to give it back to him because he was kind to me. A hunched-backed middle. I marked Pat Dixon down in 2011 in the good category. He- 2011 he met Pat Dixon. Pat Dixon has no memory. I'm exhausted already. He has no memory. He has no memory of Pat Dixon, or Pat Dixon has no memory of the, uh, the hunchback middle. But Melton said, if I can, he put him in the good list. He put him in the good guy list, in the good guy file. Adam, call this episode good guy file. He put in a good guy file. Said, if I can ever, Melton said to himself, if I can ever pay repay Pat Dixon, I will. And now here's an opportunity. Pat, can you come to Vegas and work for free? I want to pay it back, pay it forward, repay the, your kindness. You did nice things. I work with headliners all the time. They're not all nice. What's Kevin Brennan stomping on Ray DeVito and Pat Dixon for? Stomping? It's not a good look. This guy's a big... Not a good look? You're saying you like these guys. That's why you're offering them gigs where they don't get paid. But now they're probably going to be uh, a, a gym, what do you call it, jimmying up or, or queuing up to get uh, wins, uh, win Adam's chair. Star. Star search. You know, SNL. You want he SNL? rants and rants and rants about how everybody's a loser, and then he has to stomp on them also. So it's not like you can just, you know, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? You know, quit, because eventually they'll just lose interest in this and, and you know, not... Uh, you know, stop super chatting here. So again, this is loser mentality. Liam, he's so dumb. He's like, look, a lot of the super chatters over here are from MLC and they're just going to leave you because they're with Kevin. It's like, or they're human and they won't. Are you still coming to Vegas? Wait, he's, he's, he's calling super chatters human, human beings. Wow. This guy's, this guy's really jumped the shark. He's saying super chatters are right, just humans? This is a desperate Melton. I've never seen Mel- Melton this desperate. He's calling Ray in. He has put Ray in the good list. He's been shitting on Ray as far as my memory bank goes. So you're not going? No, I'm not going to Vegas. What happened? Why- Listen to this. Are you still coming to Vegas, Liam? No, I'm not coming to Vegas. Listen to this. Did you? Why did you uh, change your mind? Because the booker, the the producer of the festival, was on this show screaming at me. Thank because you. Because the producer of thank you, a real man, a real man, Liam. You got Adam's chair if you're available. A real man. Yes, a real man stood up to Melton, and Melton's horrified. A guy was like, "Hey, wait." Jesus Christ. I ain't doing dick today. I literally just wanted to watch these videos. Adam's like, I can't. I gotta. I'm like, who? Who are you? My memory bank don't work that well. Who are you again? I told that. <laughs> oh, my God. What a mess. The festival was on this show screaming at me. Is that what he said? What happened? Why- Listen to this. Are you still coming to Vegas, Liam? No, I'm not coming to Vegas. Listen to this. Did you? Why did you uh, change your mind? Because the booker, the, the, the producer of the festival was on. Booker, producer of the festival. That's, that's classic. Put that in your IMDb. On this show screaming at me. Because the producer of the festival... He was actually screaming at Ray, but but Liam's trying to basically lead Ray to to the water. But you can't... You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. He's basically saying, Ray, this is what you should do. He, he, he berated you. He embarrassed you on YouTube, public YouTube platform. So I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm, I'm going to cancel. Because Liam don't need the money was on this show screaming at me. You were. Me? 
You were. Show the clip. He just said on Monday that he should apologize, that he's going to apologize to Ray in person for screaming. But now he's now he doesn't remember. <laughs> I've done a bunch of festivals in my life, Ray. I've never had a booker from that festival scream at me. I've done a lot of festivals. I've never had the booker of a festival scream at me. Look at Melon has the. I've never seen it happen to any talent. I haven't either. Like, think about that. The, I've been. I've done a few festivals too. I've done a few things in my. I've never seen anybody get yelled at on YouTube. Booker of a festival. I don't know who you are. You weren't booked. <laughs> also, I. Oh, now he's saying Liam wasn't booked. So he, he really can't cancel himself because he was never officially booked. He was coming as a friend of Ray. I think I was booked on, on that friend of Ray show too. I wasn't screaming at you. I was screaming at Ray. I, 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 again. Yeah, but he's trying to show Ray. Ray, here's how you do the right thing. You say, no, thank you for your free gig. You were never invited. You were never booked on anything. I don't right, know. Who now he's like, I, 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 you weren't invited. So you can't cancel yourself. Liam, you can't cancel yourself because you weren't invited. Liam's like, I can and I did. Who you are. Keep thinking about the fact that, like, you are supporting a festival where the booker and producer publicly humiliated you on your own show in front of your own fans. Yeah. That's a good point, Ray. I was yep, he did. And look at Ray. Ray sits there like a boy, a little boy confused. I did? When did that happen? I don't remember. Ray will be like, I don't remember that happened. But if anybody saw me getting hit by by a tractor trailer, 18 wheeler on I-80 in Pennsylvania, notify me. But I don't remember getting yelled at by this fat guy. We go back to MLC where that'll never happen. Kevin Brennan will never yell at you. You'll never be humiliated. I won't, but I'll pay them if I do. I'll pay, I actually pay Ray extra. <laughs> I pay Ray extra if he gets extra yelling. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> One time I paid Ray extra, and, I, and then I called him to make sure he was okay. Hit the like button. And you'll never be the object of ridicule over there. Melton called into your show and yelled at you once, Ray. You going to take that? Get back to MLC, where you're treated like a respectful part of society. Yep. I sent him a 1099 and everything. Kevin Brennan loves your stand up. I Kevin do. Brennan I'm a fan. Disregard what I said yesterday about Ray's stand up. Loves you. You're a real boy, and they really care. You know, last what? time I had a boss that screamed at me like that, I quit like the next day. Fuck. This is too. I apologize, everybody. I'm exhausted. <coughs> the weather's killing me. I told Adam <coughs> just to come on and and uh, explain the situation so you guys wouldn't think it's a work. Because I know if I was just saying it, Quadfather would be like, it's a work. It's a work. Adam's not quitting. So I, I told Adam, come on. But I said, you don't have to stay for the whole show. But now I'm like, I just want Adam to talk. I just want to watch videos. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Fuck. Who the fuck was in charge of making fries then? Oh, what? see what he did? He said he worked at McDonald's and he got berated by his boss and he quit. What did Dairy Queen do? Oh, no, it's a DQ. DQ, Dairy Queen. Is that their song? All right, it gave me a lot to think about, man. So Ray's got a lot to think about. And on his long drive to Harrisburg, Ray, pull over. Win Adam's chair, day one. Now, he might, now he might maybe not do Hackamania. Man, you've given me a lot to think about. I love KB and I'll never stop singing his praises. But also, Melton did yell at me once. And then I'm You didn't yell at him. You screamed at him. You said you weren't, he wasn't going to get paid. He wasn't, you were going to take away his invitation. Screamed at him, jumped off, came back on and screamed at him some more. Your little boy, Ray. Immediately tell everybody he was sorry. I'm get, you've given me a lot to think about. <laughs> so that's the thing I will take into consideration. Ray! Uh, TikTok! Consideration! 
You have today, Ray. You have today by end of day. Wow. If you if you want out, let me know. Again, no hard feelings. Let me tell you when there are going to be hard feelings. Let me tell you what is going to happen. Wow. If I start. I didn't even watch this whole thing. I thought I watched the whole clip. Wow, this is getting more juicy. This is like when you're eating a steak. And you're like, it just gets more and more juicy the deeper you're cut into it. Is that a good analogy, Melton? You eat a lot of steaks. Printing things. With your name and image on them next month. Uh Uh-oh. He's going to make a flyer? Sue Ray. Here's what you do. Make the flyer. If Ray cancels, sue him. And then go to people's court. Go to Judge Judy. Be like, Ray will be like, he wasn't going to pay me. And then we can show the clip of you saying you aren't going to pay me. And Judge Judy will be like, wait, wait, wait. You're going to, you want money back from a guy who canceled a gig where he wasn't getting paid? And then she'll laugh you out of the court and she'll be like, fix that back. Stand up straight, sir. And Melton will be like, I can't judge Judy. I'm a hunchback. It's festival. And then you decide to back out. I'm going to come to Ohio and burn everything you own. He won't. He won't do that. He won't do that. You, you, know, you, have you got a lot to work. think about? Let me know. Let me know. If I have to get a Sharpie and go around scribbling out little baby. He won't. He won't do it. He won't do a thing. Take him to court. Be Ray DeVito's on posters. I'm going to be a set. I'm going to be a set. Is this another performance by Melton? Like the, when he was screaming at Ray? Or is this real? Or is he genuinely mad? Oh, that's the end of it. It's good work. Good work. Whoever made it, I know who made it. Good work. Anyway, all right, I'll read some super chats. Listen, uh, listen, I don't want to have to. I thought today was going to be more screaming, but I have I have nothing left to give. I have nothing left to give. Then we got other stuff with uh, Bobby Levy. Send Toadie Fields the link. Have Ray David on Jeff Garland roast battle. What? You know, I, I was going to. Uh, I was going to, uh, yeah, I don't even know what I was going to say. Don't even quarrel. Thank you, sir. You've been very generous this week many times. Yeah, you, on 320. I write it down. You gave me $100 on 320. 420, isn't that the thing? How about Kentucky losing last night? Speaking of March Madness, I got to give shout outs yesterday. Uh, malware gifted uh 20 ozone gifted 20 and gave a 20 dollars super chat and i think in addition to other things malware also malware also sent us eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars in super chats it sounds like a lot because it is eight hundred and fifty thousand i don't think it's american dollars but still Cause I don't think YouTube will even let you spend that much. Cause YouTube, it, YouTube's like my daddy. They're like, you'll get paid when we pay you. We're going to take a generous cut for us and we'll, we'll limit how much people can give you. Uh, RP gave us a hundred to stick at the malware and then many more, uh, super chats and big W, uh, I wrote his down cause I had to quote his dad and then I forgot to put it up last night anyway, but the malware, you know, listen, when malware gives us two hundred two four hundred thousand dollars super chats, I get excited. I get excited like that like that song. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Yeah. So uh and then with that lady when Ray was talking to her, the Asian lady, she might come on on a Saturday. We gotta fix it for the weekend because she's uh 13 hours ahead. You know what I'm saying? Hey, head, see what I did? Be with some butthead, 13 hours ahead. I'd like 13 hours of head. Uh, Donovan Corbel, thank you. Send Tony Fields a link. Is she dead? Have Ray DeVito. Ray's going to ghost Rose Jeff Garland because he won't come on the show. Stokely, YSU had a damn good team this year, and Oakland still roughed them up. So I put my money on Oakland over Kentucky. Envelope for the boss. I am not surprised, motherfucker. Horizon League. Yeah, my brother used to work for um, Loyola. They're Horizon League, right? Uh, who's why? Who's uh, YSU Youngstown State? 
Youngstown State had a damn good team this year, and Oakland still. Oh, oh, you're saying they're in the same division? They're in the same Horizon League. Uh, YSU had a damn good team this year, and Oakland still roughed them up. So I put my money in Oakland. You you take the money line? Oh my God! If you took the money line, you you must have killed it because I think uh, uh where, where I read Kentucky was 13 and a half point favorite. So the money line would have been crazy. Envelope for the boss. Thank you, Stokely. I'm not surprised, motherfucker. Hashtag Horizon League. Shout out. To the smaller divisions. That guy's 24, Stokely. Did you know that? I didn't know he was 24. The guy who made 10 threes. Anyway, like I told my son, we're watching him. I go, this guy will never be lacking a job. He's the opposite of Ray DeVito. This guy, I forget his name. He'll be, he won't be looking for a job for the rest of his life. That guy's famous. Literally everybody was talking about him. But he's 24. You know, he played junior college and he was... You know, because you can get extra because of the transfer rules. Now you can you can bounce around to different schools and use every year of your eligibility. Anyway, congrats, Stokely. Yeah, it was a fucking great game. I mean, I had no money on the game. I had no money on the game. This is what this is why sports is great. I'm sorry, flat cat. But this is why sports is great. I'm watching a game. I have no money on the game. I just want Kentucky to lose. The same way I want the Yankees to lose. The same way I want the fucking... Uh, uh, the fucking Lakers to lose, whatever. Like I said the other day, I always root against the fucking favorite, especially Kentucky and cunts like that. And uh, arrogant, like, we should win every year. Like the Yankee fans. We should win every year. We should win the World Series every year. That's the way it should be. There's four. I went to take a shower at halftime. Come back. Close game. I'm like, holy shit. And Kentucky just lost to St. Peter's two years ago. And St. Peter's a 15th seed. Anyway, so so I'm so nervous watching a game. I, I turn to another game. I just watch it on my phone because I, I I was getting too anxious. I had no money on the game. Imagine if you and then and then I turn it back when there was like 30 seconds left or a minute left. And then I, I'm watching and then my son came in. I I because I yelled at him. I go, come watch this game. And I said to my son, this guy, when, when it, the guy had, it was a three point lead. The guy had a made, he, the guy from uh, Oakland had two foul shots. He missed the first one. I said to my son, he's got to make the second one because that way, basically, it's a four point game with three seconds left. They're not, they, it's a basically, they're going to win. But I said to my son, imagine the pressure on these kids. I mean, these are kids and like the whole world is watching this game. Well, the whole country because it's an upset. It's Kentucky, blah, blah, blah. It was on CBS. Anyway, uh, but the guy made it, and thank God, because otherwise the rest of his life is going to be like, why did I miss those two foul shots? Anyway, Stokely, great job. Godfrey was on Club Shay Shay. Send him a link. Was he? He's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's not gonna get the numbers that what you call it got. What's his name? No, uh, no. Are you saying no? Are you talking about Adam Quinn? <laughs> I thought you were talking about the money line. Uh. Uh, say it ain't so, Adam. Adam should be here for this. <laughs> Johnson Garner, thank you. Dunham McCorbel, Aaron is leaving. Why, Adam? <laughs> Everyone's gonna get his name wrong. Adam, where are you going? Going to spend the summer in in Jacko Beach. Adam should be here for this stuff. Adam, jump on if you want. I don't know if I, I told him he didn't have to watch the videos with me. Uh, Ovio, oh, Ovio, cool hey, cat. Adam, uh, look, they're all uh, Jocko they're all Beach. Mad. Yeah, Jocko Beach. Brian and I were talking about that. It's like a, uh, it's like a town of hookers in um, Costa Rica. I want to say. Oh yeah, it sounds like fun then. <laughs> yeah, and and Brian's been there, of course. Of course. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, you can jump back off when they stop uh, referring to. Don't worry, Steve Lewis was very, very, very available. I'll, I'll coach him up, but good. Uh, wait, so then the guy with good lighting and good audio is leaving. Yep, <laughs> yep. Hey, we're working on uh, we're working on Kevin's end. Uh, st happy birthday to me. Love you, KB. Hi, Adam. Stacy Harder. Happy oh, birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Stace. Happy birthday, Stacy Harder. Happy Harder. birthday. Uh, is Adam going to still produce the show and just not show his face? No, he can't really produce the show. Yeah, I can't really. It's all gonna work out. But we're going to do a contest, win Adam's seat. 
Yeah, when Adam see you. Adam, we were just getting started, my dude. Big W. Adam, we were just getting started, my dude. As the old man used to say, don't take any wooden nickels, kiddo. All the best. <laughs> I know. W is my my favorite, uh, my new favorite super chatter. Big W. Damn, Adam, going full time at Thunder. Oh, you already read this. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Gustav. Gust oh, I'm Gustav's sure. still down there and down under. Oh, Allegedly. is he? Oh, so he knows. Uh, who's going to produce the show now, chat? Yeah, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to. Uh, Give Chad all the keys. I'm gonna give him everything. I'm gonna give him all the passwords because I, I think I can trust them. It's funny, Adam. Uh, Chad can't trust Adam, right? But we all trust Chad, right? All gonna work out. I miss you, Andy. Yeah. Secret, Secret Squirrel. Squirrel. Uh, Clements, thank you for your service and best wishes on your next endeavors. Other guy, goodbye, Andy. Arnold. Why do you call you Arnold? Uh, oh my god, I've had many aliases over the years. Uh good going, Adam. You made Kevin cry, not cool. Oh <laughs> maybe crying. It was something in his eye. I think. Uh Furious. I knew something was afoot from a super chat I sent yesterday. The OGs got a good got a good read on you guys. Congrats, Adam. What's got your hand occurring? What? From My yesterday. Super chat from yesterday. I didn't even uh, know. It, wait, I didn't even know yesterday. I actually didn't even fully know till today. Uh, you know who knew? Was, you know who knew, Melton? Because he knows everything. I think Furious made him know. I, maybe when Furious was telling me to cut together a montage of myself. Oh, right, right. And I said right. I was a, a bit busy. Uh, Jimmy, I, I'm behind. Which one of Chili's producers coming over to MLC? And what about Brian McCarthy interview show? No, I'm actually going over to the Shuli Network. Wow. Is the funny thing. Full I didn't time. say who I, I didn't say who it was I worked for. Full time. Uh, yeah. And then producer Joe. Yeah. Was, hey, produce uh Shuli, <laughs> they I'm sure I'm sure I, I'm sure Adam gets paid more than you guys over there. So send me your resumes. Of course they will, and they'll be like they'll laugh on air, and then of course uh they'll send it from a secret uh right email. MLC won't be the same without you, Andy. Guess I'll have to change my avatar to KB. Or Ray making a funny face. Uh, hashtag RIP Andy, RIP uh, Daddy, uh, Daddy, Daddy Mayor, RIP Daddy Mayor, RIP Divider. Yeah. I still want to make a, a, the Divider art for your background. I think. Uh, Stacy Harder. I'll miss you, Adam. You're one of the good ones. Oh, thank you, Stace. He's a, he's a, he's a secretly righteous dude. What do you say? What do you uh, call him? Oh, man. Properly righteous dude. I gotta look it up again because I have Crumbum. Yeah, Crumbum's already hired, as far as we know. Is I mean, he I, is Crumbum available? I no. would. I would. Oh yeah, because I, I asked him to do a Tuesday. He thought I meant next Tuesday. Okay, I had to look up Ian Finance. What was the guy's name? Patrick. Who's uh, the guy that died? Whit the forest. Kenny the forest. Kenny. <laughs> Patrick. Can't tell the trees from the forest. Kenny. Forest. Crumbum's already hired. Uh, I asked him one time to do oh, a Tuesday. Tuesday solid, of, solidly righteous dude. Solid. Crumbum also close. solidly speaking of that. Uh, Tambaletic, when Adam's job, Chad, Quad, uh, Sam V, and Joey C. Uh, oh, could C, you imagine? Joey C can can Joey C else. have at least have my job for just a day? Who's Sam V? I'm not sure. Sam V. Is that one of the squares on B? BYB, one of the 37 Sammy V squares. <laughs> uh heavy uh, heavy trails, heavy trails Adam. Adam onto the failed shit network tour and and the lady uh Lady K half half sold show. That would be honestly one of the greatest work of all if I was actually going over to the Shuley network. Yeah, when I would, that would be like orchestrated. Uh, Adam Sandboard, I'm short circuiting. Adam has betrayed me. Yeah, <laughs> who's gonna run the board? I don't Chad? know. Well, listen, I think we should get some uh, get somebody new to do it, you know. <laughs> uh, Seven Lynn Big Brand KB shakes around in the frame a bit, looks like a Dr. Katz cartoon. <laughs> no, I gotta get a new table. The table wobbles. Yeah, that's an actual uh furniture problem but he's working on it he's working on this it. you're talking about this that's a yeah. table wobbling i'll bring my allen wrench over and put it no together. it's not a matter of thing it's just a matter of every it's one day at a time with this fucking right. green screen it's like yeah. bringing a baby into the house you, you gotta adapt yeah 
Uh, yep. Fix it before you leave, Arna. Louis and Dave Screen definitely look better. Louis and Dave's green definitely look better. Louis and Dave. Louis C- Louis CK and David Tell. Oh, they're green. They're green. I have no idea what he's talking. I have oh, no idea green what screen. He's saying Louis and David Tell's green screen. Yeah. No, I don't even know what he's talking about. Well, they're famous for their green screen. Louis and David Tell. I can't even keep up. I think everyone's Tell's famous for not wanting to be on camera on podcasts. Uh Liam and Mount look like they were switched at birth. Actually, uh, Liam did not look good on that. He 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 should have at least combed his hair, and wore a hat. Uh, <laughs> uh, Seven Lim Big Brand still the best show. Obviously, I'm big effing. I'm big effing brand. Seven Eleven Big Brand. I still don't know what he Louis and Dave's green screen. I don't know. What he's I saying. think he's chipping you because I, I, yeah. I don't think that, Friday I don't think we have, don't spend too much time. I don't think they have green screens. Uh, KB, you need Andy's calming influence and dulcet tones. Never mind his drops. He and the divider are irreplaceable. MLC might not survive this departure. It'd be funny if the if we didn't. <laughs> the, the least significant part of the show leaves and you just close up shop. No, I'd be like, I just uh, yeah. <laughs> you can't do it without the guy that laughs and make, makes faces. I will never forgive you for having... For it, for it, huh? Oh. Tree Jones, let us know. Uh, man, I hope that the real reason Adam is leaving is because Stoner John called him your bump boy. Please keep the soundboard, call this episode. So long, Adam Town. Yeah, I'm actually going yeah, f- into inpatient therapy for that, for being called a butt boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, people are probably gonna, you know. people are gonna probably think that you're somehow involved with the uh. It's what's going on in England. She 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 was kind of a lot of rumors, and now she has cancer. And now she has to. Oh, with Kate Middleton. Yeah, so I'm not uh, going to say it's not related to the royal right. family. So you don't have you don't have anything like that. You're not hiding anything. Uh, terminal illness? No. Yeah, like cancer or anything. No. Chemo. Tarnished man, I'll miss you, uh, Prince Adam. Thanks for the good times here. She's married to Adam Soundboard, I believe. Do we have any? Do we have any good times here? Time that's, or two, I think. Yeah. I don't want to break into like song, an, but oh that's an yeah. Atel joke. He goes, Remember the good times? Were there any? Were there any? Uh Furious <laughs> Ray's shoulders are probably sore from the fat devil and fat angel on his conscience. <laughs> Ray's so yeah. confused. Yeah, Liam's the fat angel. And uh <laughs> fat yeah, I didn't even get that devil. part. Yeah. I didn't even get that part. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, you're right, Furious. Yeah, Fat Angel, Fat Devil. Call this episode Fat Angel, Fat Angel, <laughs> Fat Devil. I already won. Uh, can uh, Chicken Man? Can Will Sylvan and Marina Franklin take Adam's job? <laughs> uh, I, I'd let uh, Marina Franklin for sure. Oh, he he's trying to get a person of color in here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to show no hard feelings to Alan. Best of luck, our RPMLC legend. No one's wishing uh, I, you. Everyone's wishing you best of luck. Nobody's wishing you bad luck. luck. Like I wished Ray on his drive to uh, wish, wish like you wish uh, stuttering, stuttering John, John on his flight. I just I hope he, I just didn't wish him a good flight, and he took it badly. <laughs> uh, beloved Chatter, best of luck, Adam. Not sure what he does, but you should probably train Stevie, Chad, and Ray to do whatever it is in three to five years. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna do win uh, win John seat. Yeah, we'll just call it Win John C. Yeah, there's gonna because be some fun, fun hijinks, it. I think, and maybe we a dunk, maybe a dunk tank. Yeah, we stole it from uh, st- uh the Stern Show. Win John's chair. Mm-hmm. Uh, mega tech guy Adam, don't go. The show is only going to get better. I doubt it. Bigger, he says. Oh, bigger! I'm gonna take over better. the world. Yeah, it's gonna get bigger. Well, fucking uh, uh, Whitney Cummings is talking about us, but it didn't even look like her. Right. I thought it, uh, when I looked at it after the show, it looked like uh, AI Whitney Cummings or something. I mean, it really didn't. Uh, and I, I don't, I don't even know how this works. So I guess Peter Sky Parker was sending her super chats. I think so. And yeah. so everybody feels obligated, especially when you're not used to it. So she's doing live streams now, maybe to, uh, to get super chats or whatever but I, I think when you first get super chats you're a little confused what's happening but you do feel 
obligated to read every and all. So maybe, uh, I don't know, Peter Sky Parker sent her $2 like he usually sends us, or maybe he broke the bank and, and, and sent her a $5 one. In any case, she's reading him, uh, reading them. He got to her, and her my name came out of her motherfucking mouth. Uh, sad to see Alejandro go making white last time scam bait nonsense. Yeah, any A names. That's uh, big W. Nobody likes onions. You misspelled Patrick. You fat fuck. Fat fuck Patrick Melton. Where where did I miss? Where did I spell his right name? Where did wrong? he? I think yeah. maybe he's talking to somebody in the chat. Oh, because there was a fake NLO in the chat. Oh, know? oh, big W. Thank you. Thank you for for the fifty dollars, fifty bucks. Thank you. Uh, you misspelled Patrick. You fat fuck, fat fuck Patrick Mount. Yeah, we might make a private members only. Uh, only only one you need to hire Ghost of Mister P got ten on UConn. And what? Ten K. Oh. <laughs> only one you need to hire is Ghost of Mister P. They're saying we haven't Ghost of Mr. P hasn't been around lately, but well, but I think people, this is Ghost of Mr. P. Oh, but everyone's afraid. Oh, name. he's he's lobbying for he's pretending like he's lobbying yes. for Ghost of Mr. P, but it's really him. I mean, it seems like it is him. It's all caps. It's definitely in his cadence. Stokely, yep, money line. Wow, that must have wow. What did you get? 13 and a half. It must have been at least uh plus 500, right? So you bet 50. You win if you bet 100, you win 500. Yeah, it must have been at least plus 500, 13 and a half. It had to be at least that. Anyway, let me know. To Stokely, uh, but seriously, congratulations. That's a strong bet. And, uh, and yeah, you had inside information. You, you knew they beat uh, Youngstown State handily, and uh, they're a good team. Felicia Gillespie sending my resume. Adam, train me on tech. Yeah, maybe we get a lady. All right, mix it up. Take my spot. Yeah, how fun would that be? That'd right? be a hoot. Little... How about it? How about we just have all ladies? We get we got Felicia Gillespie, Flat okay. Cat, and a lady from Asia. Yeah, uh Minji Minji Co. I'm gonna call her Minji Cum because that's what I'm gonna do as soon as she gets on the show. What's got you coming, right, Gustav? You want I mean, to right, come on right, in person. Right, Furious? I'm willing to bankroll a going... Oh, wow. Wow. At the uh, at the Barclays Center? <laughs> <laughs> season ticket. It, could, Gustav, could it be a gala? It's going to be good. <laughs> uh, Delco Lou, poker meetup after the Phillies World Series parade in October. Yeah, we're going to little, little have ourselves, but yeah. You can always count on the Phillies to uh, to deliver. God damn it! Last year, whatever when they were supposed, to, I can't even get into it. But yeah, we'll meet. It's to kill everything. It's been a year. It's been a year this month since we found MLC and Adam helped make the show a lot of fun for the missus and I. Thank you so much, Adam. God bless. Cheers. Listen, glad happy to help kill everything. Uh, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Kill. Seriously, and uh, and maybe your fans of the uh, the old uh, Oakland, uh, they're from north, according to my sources, they're about 80 miles northwest of Detroit. The Oakland, uh, the team that beat Kentucky, they're they're called oh. Oakland, the but o they're I don't know if they're the University of Oakland, but they're the oh. Oakland, uh, so they have a dumb fucking that's confusing, uh, yeah. That's a, I was like, are they from Oakland? That's a long fucking trip. They were playing in Pittsburgh. Very but they're actually, people. but I looked it up. They're from uh, Michigan, like Northwest, like 80 miles uh, outside of Detroit. So maybe the kills know them. Tigger just got in. What's going on? Adam is working under the Holland Tunnel full time now or something. Yeah. yeah. And Best guest spot was sucking a D under the Holland Tunnel. Yeah, sucking cock with Bushetti's moms. Yeah, they have good good health care. Low all deductible. This, uh chicken man, all this Lenny Marcus talks makes sense. The return, yeah. Uh you gotta uh I haven't heard from them. Yeah, I really hope uh Yeah, I where really he's not gonna he wins the huh? chair. Huh? I mean, you put in a formal offer. You should you, did you hear you didn't hear back from Bobby? Not even no. a LOL or nothing. Did he like maybe I'll up the up offer? The... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I only offered him 40k. I'll offer him 50k. See, 
See if they bite. <laughs> oh, man. That's insane. Chinless Panini, another guy who's been way generous this week right? in the last couple of weeks and maybe months. I don't know. May have won. I write it down. Won the affection of uh, Tracy Carnazzo. Chinless Panini sent us 200 on 320. Uh, I don't know if he was here yesterday, but he's been incredible. Uh, 49.99. Thank you, Adam. Best of luck to you, KB. Mighty B. Good time to grab Baba Booey from Stern to produce your show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gary. Maybe is he available? We'll have a Stunner John reach out to him. Right. You might have to take a small pay cut. Right. But it's part time. Mm -hmm. uh, Trumpet. Hi, KB. Hasta la vista, Armando. Baba Booey. Um, Armando. I like that. Alejandro Armando. A lot of Latin American kind of uh, spins on my name today. Armando. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Trumpet. Uh, Adam, call this episode Adam's Day Job. Hashtag uh, fuck blocks. Hmm. No, we're calling FK it FK uh, blocks. Calling it uh, Skinny Devil, Fat Devil. No, yeah, what are we calling devil. it? Well, we got Skinny Devil, Fat Devil, and then we had, I had one more. What is that? Um, no, because it's supposed to be it, you're not Good Guy File. Is what you said earlier. No, but uh, oh yeah, no. I but, already forgot what that was a reference to. No, I know. Uh, yeah, it was talking to, talking about the clips. No, good. Uh, I think uh, skinny devil, fat devil, or fat devil. No, but devil. they're both fat. Fat angel, fat devil. Oh, fat angel, fat devil. Yeah, fat angel, fat devil. Yeah, they're both fat. <laughs> Thank you, Apocalypse. Best a uh, dang lizard. Best of luck, Adam, for your job at Catalana TV. <laughs> I'm uh I'm actually yeah my position is director of operations at Catalan. Imagine, imagine Catalan. I got to report to this to the strip mall. We would just snipe it every day. I have to report to the foot of Joey C's bed every morning. Uh, my till travel then. mug. The stuttering fool eliminates another foe. Farewell, thin skinica. Yeah, was, did the nickname yeah. would uh would that, got you that out of here? definitely that definitely added to it. Yeah. Thank you, Tilden. Thank you, everybody, for all the uh, Adam. Uh, right. uh, rest in peace. Yeah, thanks for the well wishes, everybody. The well wishes. I said the wrong thing. Greg Lambert, all the best for the future, Adam. Uh, you've been great on the show and served Don KB well. Hopefully, the next producer isn't too much of a DeVito. I think Ray DeVito himself. I'm thinking, I'm starting to think Ray, you know, people always like, you got DeVito. I think Ray DeVito himself. <laughs> and Ray, Ray has a lot to think about, according to Liam. Send Liam the link. I'm sure he can't do the show, but oh, uh, yeah, might... he he did email me saying he's been he's busy. But I I think uh, we should just see. Let's just check and see. Yeah, how see, let's we'll see if they left it at at, at good terms. Right. Uh, God's note. Adam's leaving. The the Adam's leaving. This is it. After we've been through. After all we've been through. Yeah. God's note's been through here through all of it, right. and then some. Uh, don't forget to send us a postcard from San Juan Tinio when you when you get set up there. Is that a is that a San prison? San Juan Tinio. I don't know. I think that's a prison. I'm going to Jocko Beach. Hey, Jocko Beach is is a prostitute beach. It's like real. Yeah, it's like um. Sounds like a fantastic place. So the, there's women yeah. there, but you pay. But they're prostitutes, and then you meet them and you pay them. Yeah. And then yeah. they take you, and then you have sex in the sand, or or you take. I think take I think you take hotel. them back probably to your hotel. Or no, but that's actually a good idea because you can see what they look like in their bikinis and stuff. Yeah, I mean, see, but it, but it, yeah, it's like they a can't whole... hide it. You can't really hide a dick in a bikini. Right, it's like a whole town. I guess. Oh, it sounds like, like a fantastic place. <laughs> We're gonna have the next uh, MLC meet and greet there. <laughs> a whole town. Jocko Beach, the uh, Jocko Beach meetup. Hold seat, thank you. Uh, San Juan Tinio sounds right. like a prison, Tinio, or it's yeah. definitely in California. Right. Uh, Adam, you're the man. Best of luck with everything. The mayor here. Oh, uh, hey, he's the mayor too. Thank you, mayor. Thanks. Give the seat to Stuttering John. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I have to fill out a 1099. Still, has um, a, he's not the easiest guy to uh, deal with. Right. I think apologies would have to happen. Right. Like Many. In, uh, like 
So I'd have to apologize to him. I love how many apologies people demanded in Atlantic City. I would have to, yeah, <laughs> apologize. Was so funny. Security is like, how, wanted, what, what the fuck happened? Yeah. You guys always demanding <laughs> apologies from each other. Levy wanted one from Stuttering John. Stuttering John wanted yeah. one from Fabby Patty. I mean, it's on and on and on. Yeah, Levy. Yeah, Levy wanted one for Gina from Stuttering John. I mean, it's just. But I don't even I think Gina it. wanted one. She didn't give a shit either way. I think he, I think uh, Bob wanted one from you. I think. I mean, I think that's sort of implied. No, he wanted me to write him a check. Well, yeah, he wanted. Uh... Should I post date it, Bob? Or I don't know the banks are closed today. Should I should I date it for Monday? Uh Chicken Man, one of KB's, one of KB's blocks, co-host departures March 26th, April 9th. One of KB's blocks, co-host departures, March 26th, April 9th. Is that yeah, we got a lot coming up. A lot coming up. A lot coming up. Uh cut to montage of Andy while Sarah McLaughlin plays. <laughs> Like the sad like dogs, the stupid, like, like the, the dogs. The, the, I thought I was going to say cats. <laughs> when you pay money, nobody, nobody cries for cats. Right, only dogs, sad dogs, and p and kids with flies on their heads. I used to always watch those things where they have the kid, the kid, the hungry kids, and they be right. flies on their heads. I'm like, with at least fucking extended bellies. No, at least try to get rid of the flies. They're so defeated. They're like a Ray right. DeVito just sitting there. They won't even fight the flies. Well, I think they want they want the flies. They may even put those flies in in post because uh, you know to play on people's sympathy. Those might be CGI flies. Hold on. Well, you got a phone call. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, all right. Well, let's let's read some super chats. I guess. Uh, do, do, do. Super happy fun chatter. Damn it, Melton is making me like fat, annoying Liam. Really? That clip is driving you into the arms of Melton thought it was uh i don't know ballsy of them to stand up to him ed maloney 10 euros uh adam very best you're going to leave a big hole in the mlc verse huge hole bigger than miss boschetti's chitty chitty bang bang gaping gaping hole Let's let's uh let's play some bochettis. Who taught you how to eat crayons and give a good head, your mom? What else do we got here? You know what's disabled by your mom's balls. Mm. Ambrose Burnside, dollar ninety-nine. Is Stut John is Stut John in the running for win John seat? That would be interesting if John applied to win his own seat. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll see. Sounds like he's going to have some stiff competition. I just got an email from Quadfather. He's ready to work, too. He wants the job. He wants the seat. And he already brings his own seat. Right. So that's right, perfect. Right. You know? Oh, so he wants to audition. Yeah, he says he's ready to work. So there's that. Yeah, my son threw the ball against the wall. I thought it was a I thought something. Uh, oh, you thought it was a, like something happened? Something. I fell. thought Melton showed up at my door. Right. I almost panicked. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. <clears throat> yeah. So maybe I'll do that as a test of a uh, win John's chair. I'll, I think I'll that's leave. a good. That's a good test. I think I'll be I like, hold on. Failed, I'll see what but, happens yeah, when just when they're left on the by themselves. Leave them. <laughs> They'll sit here like a deer in headlights. Uh, Jeremy Connor, thank you. Super happy fun chatter. Damn it, Melton is making me like fat, annoying Liam. Damn it, Melton is making me like fat, annoying Liam. Oh, I think I misunderstood that. He's making me like fat. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, want I it. think so. I think it's funny. He doesn't want to like Liam, but it, Mountain is making it happen. Making, Adam, 
He's making it. And Maloney, Adam, very best, uh, very best. You are going to leave a big hole in the MLC verse, huge hole, bigger than Miss Boschetti, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Wow. He would he would say uh it's like this. What does he say? Put it this way, pal. Your mom's gonna leave a big hole. Just play one of his classic clips. Yeah. I'd rather shoot my dick off than watch Brill do comedy. <laughs> There's so many, it's hard to like. No, but he's like, uh, that guy and he has ten dicks to pull out. No, but I gotta get Eddie Brill on with him. Right, and we gotta play it. I mean, so right. and Mike, if if Eddie Brill was here, Mike'd be like, ah, it's just I'm just, just chipping you, right. but uh, I mean, he really doesn't like Eddie Brill. Shoot your dick off. That's all. Uh, Ambrose Burnside, stutter John, they're running for win John's chair. Probably not. Yeah, I was saying that that would be unprecedented if he was up for a spot. And win John's chair. Yeah, if he if he applied for his own chair, was gonna someone's gonna have to do a lot of apologizing. I mean, most mm-hmm. most of the people who audition are gonna have to first apologize to me, and then, then audition. <laughs> yes. that's a stipulation is apologize. Yeah, yeah, everyone's gonna have to apologize <laughs> first <laughs> to God and everybody. Uh, the mayor here. We all love Adam. Best of luck over at Catalano TV. If it happens, yeah, that'd be a real. I'm hoping I can turn things around there at Catalano TV. That'd be a real surprise. But you never yeah. know. What's next in Pretty, this world? A competitive benefits package that they offered me. Yeah, you get to move into. You get to sleep on the uh, sofa, right, right on the ground next to the sofa. Yeah, right, right on the ground. It's on, actually like his, on the ground. like his uh, son-in-law and his pals. Yeah. Cool haircut. Back to cool haircut. For the record, I was the one who said Adam's one-liners were underrated and, and worth clipping. Let's just say something in the works. Chad's something voice. Something in the works. Let's just say something is the works. I think it meant or something in is the, in the works. Something's in the works. Okay. Uh, oh, he thinks maybe I'm I'm getting a spinoff is what I think what he's saying. Oh, you got your own show. Right. It already that that super chat already went to my head, and I'm leaving to do a to do a spinoff. Oh, like you're going over to the Shuli Network. They're gonna give you a show. Yeah. Oh, Barry Rip sent me an email. He said that uh uh that he's he's in negotiations with the Shuli Network to do a show over there. Speaking of the Shuli Network, I can't even play that. Oh, Liam's surprised. in the middle. He's writing a paper that's due in ninety minutes. And uh, so he he wishes he could, but he cannot. Yeah, I bet he does. All right, well, he had a shot at win John's chair, and he choked. It was my dying wish to have Liam on. Uh, Thank you, cool haircut. Teams to Tim, don't let the door hit you in the arse. uh, Oompa Loompa, take the cum in my mustache drop with you. (laughs) Play it, play it right now. Oh, yeah, I got to find it. It's funny because Tim actually just, he sent me a nice email just now. Um, I woke up with cum in my mustache. I apologize, Tim, but it was too good of a a good of a thing to clip. I, I was on race. I could not is. clip that. That was after Potsdown. Uh, I think th- I don't even remember. I don't remember when this. Yeah, because we asked him what, what, when you woke up was Ray in yeah. bed with you. I think that's right. when he said I woke up with cum in my mustache. Right. Javi eighty two. I'll miss you, Adam. Sad day. Javi, miss you too, man. One door I'll come closes. Back and, I'll come back and be a guest anytime. One door closes, another I door can. opens, or whatever they say in the Bible. Right. Uh, good luck, Adam. Uh, miss you Alex. already. Good luck. Uh, I mean, it's good luck, Alex. A- anyway, yeah. where's Steven Springer been? Wow, probably busy uh, selling, probably selling views internationally. Uh, Stokely, near, far, wherever, Adam. Near, <laughs> far. Beyond. Near, far, wherever. Adam R. Oh, I don't know. Oh, is this the it's from, a Celine Dion song? I believe that is it from Titanic. His heart will go on. Uh, where's that C U N T Celine Dion? To sing I ain't Adam singing Rock. Stokely. Uh, uh, congratulations on uh, you know on everything, the bat and everything, and and my super chat. But I can't. Uh, I, I'm I'm exhausted for some reason. I think this weather's really fucking uh, done. It's done. It's uh some damage on me. I'm like. Just fucking, I got no energy. I mean, I I was like, it, nobody's even doing a show. I'm like, maybe I shouldn't do a show to stick it to everybody. But uh, so I can't sing. Maybe I'll come back and sing it. I don't know. Maybe we'll fight. Anyway, sing it's weird because uh, uh, you can't even play this clip, right? Would they shut our channel down in five seconds if we if we played a Celine uh, Dion song? No, you just get a notice 
saying that uh, if you want to leave it up, you got to split the revenue with Celine. Celine Dion. and her yeah. fucking not pimp the husband. super chat revenue, but just any ads you run on it, you have to split. Andy, you have to gift KB the drops and teach uh, how to use. Yeah, listen, I'm happy. To, I don't know if he's gonna want to run the soundboard. It's I use two. I have two computers to do that. So I ain't I don't, doing it. I, ain't I don't doing think it. he's gonna do that. But maybe we get some. Whoever gets my chair, maybe they maybe they do it. Stuttering John. I don't know if Stuttering John's gonna gonna do do that. You might have to get a separate guy for the drops then. I don't know. I, I ain't hiring a separate guy for the drops. How much yeah. money do you think I have? <laughs> I, don't know. I think drop guys work cheap. I, I don't think they, I don't think anybody, maybe even cheap. for free. Everyone ends up complaining about the money. I mean, fucking Ray is like, uh, it, it, Kevin paid Chad more than, I mean, no matter what, Chad was like, uh, Kevin paid Levy more than, I mean, no matter what I pay them, they're mad. Stunner John's like, Kevin didn't pay me 3K every show, huh? Thank you, Chairman Connor. Uh, Teal Hank, in honor of Adam quitting his best comment ever in reference to prison. You just do gay stuff because everyone else is. Take care of you, little panini. I said that? You just yeah. do gay stuff because everybody else does because everyone else does? Yeah, when in Rome. Oh, like, okay. Do gay stuff. Yeah, you're you're not gay. Yeah, you're they call that gay for the stay. Yeah. You're you're our, gay in for prison. Right. There's no uh, there's no shame. Or at a Marriott. Uh Cookman, wow, just tune in. This sucks. Adam rules. Congrats, though. Good, good for you. Uh <laughs> i never thought it smelled like that jerk yeah I, I was concerned about that that that's in my that's part of my last name i never i no one ever no one ever spelt it like that it's interesting and it well, was sitting it right there it was hiding in plain sight sounds like that and then the, no it's right there it's yeah, literally I'm right there concerned about that cook someday. man good job being a problem for stallion me. stallion how does how does how does one ask adam for a picture of his yam bag on the way out without sounding like a like a like skeet mask i'll just like send you a mask. link i'll send you a link to uh to uh just a a dropbox file full of them you know of your of your dick pics my yam bag yeah uh probably label any best of luck hanging hang, hanging full hanging, hanging brain, brain full, full time, time on your what New OnlyFans venture. Uh, I think hanging brain, that's like sucking dick, maybe? Hanging brain? Probably oh. labeled, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like when people send me tricky. Super oh. Chat. What does it no, mean? It's, it means uh, pulling out your, your nutsack. The act of pulling one's scrotum. <laughs> Is that Urban included. Dictionary? Yeah, testicles included. Uh, through the opening of of one's pants or shorts. Okay, hanging <laughs> brain. So who applied so far? Uh, Joey C and Quanfather. Yeah, Joey C and Quanfather. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, probably labeled. You la that was probably labeled hanging brain. What did it mean? What's it mean? Pulling out your cock? Yeah. Uh, Gregory McCoy, this is the biggest change that ever has come to your show. Good luck, Adam. Make sure you come back from time to time, Gregory. McCoy. Yeah, uh, maybe Brian and I come back. Oh wow! If I'm the crazy. since I'm the Brian whisperer, I guess wow, that'd be crazy. Uh, we'll have Brian. Well, uh, I mean, we might have him anyways before then. Uh, slug food. We can't let Adam lose or Neil win. Slug food. Don't hashtag donate. Hashtag. I yeah. Apparently, I say donate. Yeah, that back in the day, remember Brian used to say it too. No, I'm kidding. I think I have a, I'm oh, kidding. no, I yeah. thought you I thought you didn't even remember. No, I remember. <laughs> Ooh, that's all crunchy. No, the fact that people the fact that people the fact that I didn't I wasn't aware I said it a lot until people that was everyone's impression on me was just saying donate. Right. Donate. I was like, well, that's that's the my everyone's take on me is that I'm just literally begging for money. That's constantly. your legacy. I just want people to donate, and, and they weren't even donating. It was just—I didn't even have a Venmo. I, all, I, all I was all I was saying was, uh, I think they had to buy a shirt. They had to buy a T-shirt for like forty dollars, and I would send them the shirt, so I'd make like twenty bucks on the transaction. But because uh, uh, that was when uh, Riotcast, they were like dragging their feet. I'm like, can I sell something? 
can I yeah. make my own shirts? So and they're like, yeah, go ahead. So I did that. And I think it started with that, you know, it became like a donate kind of right. thing. But I wasn't getting a lot of donations except, and then even when I got a donation, I had to, I had to go to the, I had to go to the post office and, and mail them a shirt. So it that wasn't, was the, uh, was that the Starbucks Starfucker shirt? Yeah. So uh, it wasn't. Uh, and there was so, that big lawsuit over that. Yeah. So I didn't think it was a big deal that I, but I don't. But it, it, everyone's impression of me was donate. It was like <laughs> it was like my get her done. Yes. Yes. Really incredible. Thank you, Gregor McCoy. Slug food. We can't let Adam lose or Neil win. Donate. I think I read that already, right? Unless you double. Yeah, well, you read it, but I don't think you put it up. Oh. Um. Hold on. Let me see. I got it. Ah, oh, the team is in Detroit. He's talking about that that Oakland uh, University. He said North. They said on the news north of Detroit, or or whatever I read. They said like was it 80, called Oakland University? Or I don't know if it's uh, yeah. I'm, uh, uh, I, let me. I'll just look up Oakland. Oakland, Michigan. Yeah, Oakland College of Michigan. I don't know if it's Oakland University or University of Oakland. Anyway, everyone thinks that it's an. Oh, Oakland. there's an Oakland County. Yeah, that's north north uh, west of uh, Detroit. Yeah, like eighty miles, right? Yeah. What's the fucking Uh, Slugfoot, thank you. Uh, Stokely, a hundred dollars at plus uh six fifty. That's sweet. So you win. So they, you got seven fifty back. You get your hundred, and you got plus six fifty. That's a sweet bet. Sweet, sweet, sweet bet. Congrats, Stokely. Uh, uh, yeah, I did hear. <laughs> you got the clip about that. Uh, all right. Quick update. Um. This is pretty amazing. What? There are no more tickets available for Huntington Beach at the record. Boom, 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 boom. Back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, Looks like things are finally going our way. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, listen, people are probably not going to be happy about this. And, uh, <laughs> We're on easy mean? street, guys. What do you mean? I mean, still, wait, there's no more tickets left. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's what they, it's their, it's their worst fear. It's the thing they don't want. And, who's uh, day? and here who's we are. The, the show is May 17th and 18th. And yeah. who's day? They, they act like they had, they like they're the center yeah. of all this controversy and everybody wants to take them down. I mean, the public, general public. It's mostly just me. <laughs> I mean, they, am you I could a be they? they? You, you could be they, they. Is that my new pronoun? They? You could am be non binary. They? Can't buy one ticket, one ticket, four shows. And that is because as of April 1st, the rec mm -hmm. room will be closed. <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear to you. I swear to you. When do they reopen? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> it's a good question. Hold on. I have it right here. Let me, give me one second. Uh, <laughs> 2000 never gonna fucking happen so uh, it's gone good. it's over it's done yeah. uh yeah. it, it must have been it must have been a paper room we need Rec to get room? a chance to pay for uh paper it Rec room, but the good news it. is it <laughs> It will now be a Chuck E. Cheese, and we'll yeah, still right. be playing it. <laughs> that's right. So I'll so I'll be there. We've yeah. leased uh we've leased an empty <laughs> building that used to hold a Shakey's Pizza, and we're gonna <laughs> do it there. We got we hire are, those uh, animatronic bears. Yeah, everyone who got tickets will be refunded. Don't worry about mm. that. And we're everybody guarantee they didn't sell one ticket. Currently yeah. looking for a new venue out in LA because. Uh, you know, we we definitely want to go out there and see you guys yeah. hit the pub and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. it will be happening. Don't worry about it. Guarantee the one guarantee you have in life is that that'll never happen. They'll never do a gig in L.A. That'll never, ever happen. This club must have been literally just what they say it was called, called the wreck. Something. Uh, yeah, Huntington Beach. Literally hanging on just on on just threads and just like hanging on their final gasp and be like, and they probably Bob and those Shuli and the hacks are probably like, 
no, we got a big following. We'll make you a lot of money. And then they probably announced it and probably mm. not one ticket sold at the club's like, yeah, we're just, we, we'd rather go out of business than have to deal with losers like you. I mean, I mean, it, but imagine the club being that out of it that they book these fucking clowns and the fact that they think they're going to find another fucking uh, uh, a stool pigeon, a stoolie pigeon that's going to be like, yeah, yeah, we'll take you clowns on. And Bob would be like, yeah, we're going to get Perry out there. We're going to sell a lot of tickets. I mean, these fucking losers. Bob thinks that anyone's fooled by these their shenanigans. It's like, Bob, they're working. They're, you remember the tour? They were going to go on tour? The tour's over next weekend. They're going to be at uh, a Governor's. Eight tickets sold. I'll get a new I'll get a new count by tomorrow. Eight tickets sold so far. And then they're at uh, uh, Cousin... Uh, Uncle Vinny fuckers or, or cousin yeah, Uncle Vinny's. <laughs> They're on Uncle Vinny's next Friday and then Governor's Saturday. I don't know what the head count on at Uncle Vinny's is. Governor's, they sold eight tickets. But but they're going to, of course, they're going to make a trip out to the West Coast to say hi to everybody. I mean, it, it, yeah. And then they're laughing off like, well, it, it, we're, it doesn't matter. We're killing it. They're killing it. It's just a win, 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 win. All wins. All wins. Let's see what we got These here. guys touring or the Levy verse. Bob hasn't done a show since last fucking. Last I show beat you the other day, ago. dude. I beat you the me? other day. When I go on by myself, I will beat you. I will beat. Another lie, <laughs> Bob. Bob. The last time Bob went on by himself was the seventeenth. So that's five days ago. What is that? Last Sunday, out of the coffin. Apparently he did it with Gina. I didn't go up against them that day. If Bob was making money doing shows by himself, he would do them every day. Because he'd make more money. Otherwise, he's got to divide YouTube, Apple, and the six clowns they're paying over there. So you, if you think Bob was having any success, he wouldn't be doing a show every day. He's not even doing a show. Oh, now Chris Abel's show apparently is on the Levyverse. So he's going to get the, the, the Bobby bump, as they say in the business. But Bobby's out of his mind. And then and then he says he beats me. He again, complete lies. Complete lies. I went up against them yesterday, didn't tweet it out, unannounced. Bob was doing Ireland versus uh America, and they had about a hundred and forty people watching. I went on within uh a half an hour, I had five hundred live watching, three times what he did, maybe four what he had, but somehow he's 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 calling that a win. Just like Huntington Beach, it's another. What all these guys do is win. Beat you like I did the other day, and I have less than two thousand members. How pathetic uh, is so? Wait, he's bragging. First of all, he's not beating me. <laughs> Second of all, but he's saying he only has two thousand members, so he shouldn't right. be beating me. But uh, but the Shuli Network has way more subscribers than I do, and they do way more numbers than than I do. So why isn't Bob getting any of these fans fans coming over to watch his solo program in the Levyverse? Because he say he stinks. I almost said he sinks. I was gonna co combine sucks and stinks. I was gonna say he sinks. Sink, sinks kind of works. Sinks everything. He put that club <laughs> out of business. <laughs> He put that club out of business, but somehow he's beating me. There's literally no proof. I watch his show. He gets, he makes no money and the views are embarrassing, but somehow he's beating me. Whenever I go head to head as a goof to go up against him, I crush him. But somehow it's a win. That fairly pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm out, Shuli. Nobody's got Shuli. What do you mean? He does two shows a day with them. He's yeah, going to do I'm, more? I'm very good. I'm doing better than I was working for Baltius. Put it that way. Okay? For who? Me and him? Yeah, I'm doing better right now. Stephen Lee, even Shuli's like, wait, you're doing what? Oh. Even Shuli's like, wait, you're doing better now yeah. than you were when you worked for both of us? Even Shuli's like, Bob, Bob, I'm I'm right here. Don't lie to me. <laughs> He's like, yes, you're like false, fake hubris. Yeah, uh, it's like Bob, you can lie to the to yeah. the to the hack verse and lie okay. to Brennan, lie to everybody, but like I'm right here. Right. I know I know act the actual numbers, Bob. Right. I, I I'm I'm the one paying you. I know how much you're getting. I know 
that you don't make any money at the Levyverse. If he made any money at the Levyverse, he would do Out of the Coffin every day. But he don't. And so he tries to do the uh, do different shows and have America versus Ireland. Of course, that's a fucking disaster. And again, he hasn't done Out of the Coffin. If, if, if he made any money out of the coffin, he would do it every day. He would tell Shuli, Shuli, no offense, I'll do... I'll do the Uncle Rico show every day, but I'm not doing the stupid BS show because they they make nothing there. So Bob would do out of the coffin every fucking day if he was making any money. But somehow, we, again, head to head, me against him. So mano a mano, he's beating me. I mean, it's fucking delusional. But even Julie's like, what, Bob? Bob, you're making what? I'm sure they yeah, had a weird meeting. To clarify. I like I'm sure that. they had a weird meeting about that. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, Finkelstein, thank you. So the tour ends after next weekend. I mean, even the Huntington Beach was never going to happen. There's no way they're all going to fly out there. Right. And where are they all going to stay? At Perry's house? At Perry's condo? Maybe. Perry's little apartment in North Hollywood? And they're all going to sleep on the couch and maybe do some live streams. But they're all going to fly out there, get hotels, and and they're going to turn a profit. Got it. Uh, Mega Tech, I'll take Adam's job then. It works out perfectly with my time zone in the UK. I'll make the show 10 times bigger and hire Adam back in a much larger wage. I like this. I like the cut of this guy's jib. Listen, he's thinking big. I, I like it. I like him. I think you should. Mega Tech guy, you're hired. Consider him. Can Andy take off a chair for old time's sake? Maybe. Yeah, maybe the last maybe show. Like the last show or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll, you do a topless. We'll do, yeah. But you wear those like for, uh, we're all we'll all take our shirts off like you wear the nipple cut. What do they call when they cover pasties? your nipples? Yeah, pasties. Yeah, yeah, you got to do a pasties. Mm-hmm. Uh, instead of onions, it should say Patrick. Uh, NPL. Of, onions. NLP. Like I don't know what he's saying. I don't know. I stand with yeah, big was, w, there, was there? A, did it say his name in the uh, in that clip? Instead of onions, it say Patrick. I don't know. You're gonna. Cause that, I mean, that wasn't our clip, so I don't. No, I think he's talking about a super chat where he said, oh. uh, "Instead of onions, it should say Patrick." NLP, no. Mm. Too 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 much code. Nobody, nobody likes Patrick. Probably. Oh, nobody likes Patrick. Oh, probably what it. he means by that. Oh, instead of onions. Oh, I got it now. Oh, uh, uh, Adam's doing an impression of uh, Stevie Lou. He's the, he's the super chat whisperer. Chat whisperer. Uh, yeah, no, nobody likes Patrick. You're right, uh, Big W. Mm-hmm. You're right. I'm getting a lot of offers on my phone. Oh, that's an idea, Gustav. It can be a gala at Gallagher's 2000, or I can take UKB and a few ladies of the evening to Casa Kip- Cipriani. No, we gotta go to Gallagher's. We gotta go to Gallagher's. Yeah, I think any gal gal gala. You can invite Brian McCarthy. That's his uh, yeah. isn't he part owner? Yeah, I think he's um majority majority stakeholder. Gala at, gal- at Gallagher's. At yeah, it's gonna be Gallagher at Gallagher's. I think that's a great idea. I mean, I I I only live a just a couple of stops away, so uh I could pop on over there. Uh thank you, Gustav. Adam, I hope Chad's bro gets you. Oh, it is Mr. P. <laughs> Somebody said, I, don't, I was reading something on Reddit about Mr. P or somewhere. It's, it's, un, so, it's unmistakable. Uh, it's so It gets so ridiculous after a while. They're like, Mr. P, it basically, Mr. P, everyone's afraid of Mr. P everywhere. And it's like, mm-hmm. uh, okay, got it. I mean, I, I maybe I'm afraid too. Maybe I'm too dumb to be afraid. Uh, I gotta watch these pictures. Uh, what does Mr. Max Power mean? Uh, exactly six million. Good luck to the only almost non-tart on the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna almost. be weird without uh, everyone else just yeah, we fighting. Gotta get, we got to get another non-tart. Person. Yeah, semi-non-tart. I don't want to compliment myself too much. Philly Franks Five. Adam, Adam, it was great meeting you, and maybe we'll have a drink again. But we wish you nothing less than the best. As for you, KB, you had chat on. Good day, sir. I said good day, sir. I said good day, sir. Man, almost too much sincerity. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Chad's Frank. polarizing. Turns out. Yeah, yeah. Adam, are you still pals with Jesse? P.S. Oh God, I haven't seen him in years. Probably over ten years. Who's Jesse? P.S. Pot awful guy. Oh, 
Yeah, we got to get merch on fish launch. <laughs> Have we tried to get them? No, I don't even know. How Have we reached out them. to merch? No. Uh, Tommy Seven Names, on the advice of my psychiatrist and priest, I've been laying low, but I wanted to give my regards to Adam. Love you, kiddo. Don't tell my wife I was sending super chats. Wow. Oh, no. Are you going to get in trouble, Tommy? Tommy, we wish you the best. Yeah, with that, hopefully, uh, if you're in, she if gets you're gonna, you like an, allot, an allotted amount you could do a week, you know. Yeah, if you're gonna get, if you're in in hot water with the, with the uh, old ball and chain, Adam, uh, call this episode "Fight the Flies." Fight the flies. Not sure I get that one. Yeah, we don't have time. Age of Quarrel, schedule April 1st as Adam's last day because that's what MLC is going to be with Adam. A fucking joke. <laughs> Wow. It's, it's going to be a fucking joke. <laughs> That's funny, though. Yeah. It took me a second to remember. It's April Fool's Day. Yeah. Don't sense. take me. Once I say April 1st, that's a that's a national holiday for comics. Yeah. For, for clowns. Sure. Well, uh, uh, to send me the hit Ray DeVito. Oh, it turns out Ray didn't get hit by a thing. He, uh, uh, we, uh, we concluded that he was uh, just got in an accident by himself, and he blamed it on another truck. So mm. he wouldn't, he wouldn't so stupid. Have hit Ray Devito, yeah. and then he wanted to uh, do a GoFundMe, even though he was by himself. Yeah. Why Panty want to run a Zoom call, pocket the cash? Yeah, I, I'm thinking that too. <clears throat> yeah, well, Kev, Kevin knows how to do everything to run the show. It's the after the show stuff that. We'll maybe have to figure out. He doesn't need any help running the show, though. Not the live show. Uh, Jack Clumpus, can I get can I get a Lance Brody and a hello from Earl? Good luck on your future endeavors. I hope your boyfriend. I hope you befriend another rage filled bi bicyclist. <laughs> we'll miss you. Uh, you got it. Do people think it's my last? Like, because we're talking about this, they think I'm like going. Like, this is my last day. It don't maybe? matter. Yeah, it's not for a, a little. No, while I was going to keep it quiet. To be honest, I was going to keep it quiet. I thought that's what would happen. I thought I was just going to like. No, uh, I was going to keep it quiet. Off. Then I'm like, you know what? It, with with all the with all people with everybody coming and going and shit, we might as well make a fucking yeah. What well, sounds game like out of it, it. yeah, it could be fun. It sounds like people are interested in the, the chair, and I, and I physically will let you have this chair. You can come to my house. Oh, good. Get in it too. No, but also it'll Whoever it'll gets the th job. You know, then it, then anybody here will be basically auditioning. Then I love to audition yeah, people. Right. I'm usually on the other end, so I would I would love I'll just sit here and audition people. I'll be like, mm -hmm. oh, this guy, and then everyone will fucking whatever. Uh, you know, everyone will be chipping at the guy who's auditioning, who's in right. the hot seat. Right. Uh, Jack Clumpus, thank you, and thank you for the uh, thank you for the comment. Rage filled bicyclist. Joey sees walk and talk. Uh, oh, dang good. lizard! Don't forget the gimbal for Joey C's walk and talk. Is that what they call it? A gimbal? Yeah, it's like the little kind of thing that you you like a yeah you hold up, cam right? for a phone. Yeah, I don't know gimbal how to name like that. Yeah, uh, Stokely. Let's not lie on these last days with our great producer. Guaranteed, Tracy Canasa mercilessly tries to erase her bean to Adam. Thirty-two. 75 money line. I don't know. Is that good odds? Or I don't know what that means. The 32. Oh, she's talking about oh, what are the odds that she that she uh, works her bean to you? Probably not very good. I don't think she. Guaranteed Tracer Kanaza mercilessly tries to erase her bean to Adam. Uh, 32, 75. That's pretty high. That's very high. 32, 75 money line. Uh... Wait, you're saying four? You're saying it's definitely happened? All right. So or it will happen? I don't know how you would verify that, though. I'll have to, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, KB, what about uh, Pat's former gals producer? Always thought she sounded like a feminine Adam. Huh. Who's that? Pat? Uh, I, think it, I think it's uh, his, his mod, you mean? uh she was uh oh 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 pat dixon pat dixon yeah she um, was uh she's the one who does the pictures i think okay oh the one that draws the pictures yeah what's her name i don't know what her name is but it's no what's like, her name in it as a the artist t-a-s something 
Yeah, Tass, Tass. Tass something. Yeah. Dang Lizard, Catalano TV's benefits include the company Masseuse. The company Masseuse? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't watch that. Uh, I didn't watch that thing about the guy from uh, Nickelodeon, uh, that producer, but I guess he was, uh, he used to get massages. Did he get massages in front of everybody? I should really watch it because Neil knows the guy. Schneider? Mm. Another Shuli, another creepy Shuli, Schneider. But he's he was fat. He's like a Melton uh, look-alike fat, like got three or four chins. But you know he was the he was the king over there. So treated everybody like shit. But apparently he did some weird things with massages. And I was thinking maybe did he get oh. him in front of everybody? But did he just be like I'm gonna get a massage and everybody's gonna have to watch? He would do uh, it on a set. Real, a real power move. Yeah, you just be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a massage right here in front of everybody. Like they, when the CEO has their assistant follow him into the bathroom and like take notes and shit. It's a power move. Yeah, you take sure. a shit. Yeah, you take a shit while your son's taking a shower. Right, <laughs> right. Well, you read, you read the Auto Trader. Smoke. Hey, Adeptus. Hey, Pops. Adam, what the <laughs> fuck? You leaving? Us. Love you, KB. Thank you, pa thank you, son. We'll keep in touch, Adeptus. Sign each Mr. other's yearbooks. Mr. Rape Rate. Wait, wait, wait. The Golden Sun is leaving. The Brothers Dim from Clan. <laughs> the Brothers Dim. The Brothers Dim. <laughs> the Brothers Dim from Cleveland will be jumping oh. at the chance oh, KB to be KB's new favorite now. Please take Lou with you. No, I thought I'd be. F I, listen, I didn't know what I was. I never know what I'm going to do. But today, when once I found out, I was gonna, I was gonna like not talk about. It. Then I was gonna talk about it by myself. And then I'm like, well, Adam, jump on, start the music, uh, talk. You know, you announce it, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So, uh, and then, and then, yeah, I mean, Ray might uh, get into another car accident with all the excitement. I mean, he might, right. with all the uh, thoughts going through his brain. You know, he had a lot to think about already. Just talking to Liam. And uh, Liam told him uh, Liam canceled, even though he, he was a uh, really was never offered the gig. But basically he's showing Ray, Ray, here's what you should do. You should just tell uh, Melton to go fuck himself. And Ray's like, I have a lot to think about now. Give him more to think about knowing that he's uh, walking away from 50,000 up to 50. It's like a game show. Would you like $50,000 behind this door? Or would you like this door free trip to Vegas and, where you get no money? Free trip to Fremont Street. Yes. One way ticket. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Rapier Ray. Uh, the mayor here does. Does no Adam mean no Brian McCarthy? If so, very sad. He can't read super chats. Part of the fun of doing the show is reading mm -hmm. the super chats. No, we can still. Brian is still available, and maybe we come on together. That's I don't a know. package. Yeah. Uh, uh, Trumpet, Adam. Good day, <laughs> good sir. Day. I said good day, sir. <laughs> That was what they. That was the harshest you could be back in the in the day. You would say good day. The secret squirrel. Ask Jimmy Martinez to be your new producer. Yeah, that would that could get interesting quickly. That's an idea. Secret squirrel. I was just I don't looking know if he's at available. That. I was malware. Adam, play the play the uh, air horn for the. Oh yeah, for, anything for, above one hundred thousand for uh, Colombian pesos for sure. <laughs> Yeah, Ma, we're at, thousand COP. My Ma, oh. we're, I don't know if you were here earlier, but I was thanking people from yesterday. So Malware was very generous yesterday. I, according to my notes, he sent us two different super chats for four hundred thousand. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know what it adds up to. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to. I don't want to know. Don't even tell me, Adam. No, I'm not going to tell you, but I'm just looking for myself. No, I think they're. I just like the way they look. They're gorgeous. And again, YouTube won't let you break your break your own bank. They'll be like, "We're your parents, and we we you can't oh, yeah. you can only spend this much," which is fine. But I'm just saying, when you get a hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars of anything, it it looks fantastic. So thank you, Malware. Uh, and he misses you already, Adam. Oh, okay. Wait, I didn't even read it. I always put this up. I don't even read them. Yeah, Adam, I missed you already. Distracted. No, I did that yesterday. I, I put it up, but I didn't read it. And then uh, and then RP was like, hey, Malware, he don't even read your Super Chats. And uh, luckily, I read ahead. Adam, I missed you already. Also, Malware wrangled Minji for the show. I got DM proof. Nice. 
Wow. Adam, I miss you already. Uh, Malware wrangled Minji for the show. I got DM proof. Nice. All right. So, uh, uh, so let us know what she said. Uh, DM me or Adam or or email. What or Minji? For, yeah, Mark, we're already we're talking. She. Um, no, he but, said Malware said he's talking. He's speaking in in third person. He said he already got her. Oh, he got her too. I mean, we double got her then because she. Yeah, no, she, I think I think she probably got maybe Malware got to her oh, first. He already, he, yeah, because I I no, I'm saying maybe that maybe everybody contacting her maybe she got yeah. the message and maybe she already said yes to right. Malware. And then she, and then one other, but then you, when you contacted her, right. she's like, yes, she yes, ready yes. To, she was ready to go. He already broke yeah, her he, in. Yeah. He fluffed her up. Yeah. Yeah. Said. Cause I didn't, I didn't send her a message till last night. So. Yeah. So Later maybe Malware night. got her first with these, uh, big super chats. He mm -hmm. showed her like, uh, you know, there's more where this came from. Nice. Kind yeah. of a strategy. Right. And, and then she was like, Oh shit. And then, uh, you know, whatever. Right. The rest is history. Anyway, I think she, I think the girl's hot. So, again, Ray uh, choked. Uh, but again, maybe he doesn't like women like that. But mm -hmm. listen, I, I just like any girl that's gonna. Uh, she's an she's a starving artist, and she's willing to uh, be sexy. And like I said yesterday, sex sells. And why the fuck shouldn't it? Yeah. How how how, how if you're an artist and somebody else is an artist, how, how do you? How do you bring attention to your your product? Yeah. You wear you wear something uh, sexy and you dance. That's well, how you, you do. Like, have a bunch of guys jerk jerk it on your art. I think that's what she did. Right? Oh yeah, she Come did on. that too. I keep forgetting she she would misery, jerk guys off for <laughs> misery loves cum painting. Remember? Oh yeah, but she I, I forget she jerks guys off for her art. <laughs> that was what that's what I'm that's incredible. Very fascinated by is that that aspect of uh you know pearl watercolor and ray was sitting there nothing to say to her I, i'm kind of stumped right now <laughs> thinking i got thinking about a gal milking guys <laughs> for paint human paint that's what i'm gonna call come now human paint wow all right malware dm me or dm adam See, see what she said because sure. uh, we're definitely interested. Yeah, she told me she was going to be in uh, uh, second week in April. She's going to be in New York City. So well, she I don't told know. it Ray right, April fifth because I was April watching 5th. when she said but it. Maybe, but... I don't know if it changed or not, or maybe she doesn't understand. No, but we were going to get her before that. We got to get her on the thing. I can just yeah, get her yeah, on. Yeah. I can get her on a weekend. I don't know if I can do it this weekend, yeah. but but uh, it's you know I can definitely get her on a weekend. Yeah, the Saturday show would work well. I think. Yeah, and I could probably even do in like a Sunday show because that would be her Monday or something if she can't do because Saturday night would be her her Sunday, Sunday. morning. I think that would be per, uh, probably yeah. perfect, you know. But maybe she goes to church on Sunday morning. I I'm gonna guess she probably doesn't. Uh, to good she goes to church to find new guys to jerk off. Maybe yeah, repress uh, uh, Minji guys. Even I I even like her name Minji Minji Co. Yeah, Minji Ko. Thanks, my wife, for everything. Uh, Citizen Macabre, uh, you wouldn't be here without Bobby Belly. He made you, bro. Stay blessed. Wow. Talking to me or you? I think everybody. Okay. Surely looks like Darth Vader with his helmet on. He really does. I mean, he's fucking, he's, uh, he's such a creepy looking dude. He's so fucking creepy. <laughs> it, it really is. He's just a creepy fucking looking dude uh, there's no uh, i mean seriously Ugh. that's why i hate to watch clips of them it's just like ugh. Ugh. uh kb i love to see quadfather more he brings uh on that latino feel <laughs> i don't understand what that means i like it i like the spirit of it but i don't get it is that weird no i know it's just it makes no that sense latino right. feel that's why it's funny. Because <laughs> of his mustache, maybe? Reach the taco dollar limit. Oh, okay. So maybe he's he's uh capped out. He can't he can't do anymore. He no, they they no, they max you out. They yeah, I think they, it, on a daily. Yeah, there's a daily limit. Daily and a monthly. Right. I'm not saying that I'm not saying they should, but the, the fact that YouTube is everybody's parents, it's like 
YouTube. But, you know, it's like, right. uh, like they have more rules than my parents growing up. My parents had a lot of rules. This is when you'll get paid. This is how much we're going to take out. Uh, we'll tell people what they can spend and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm sure they have their reasons, but, you know, it's annoying. Anyway, Mauer, let me take a picture. Uh, I like to. What was the other one? What well, the other one was a hundred thousand too. Yeah, I mean, hundred thousand COP. Yeah. No, because yesterday I, I am almost positive he he sent two. I wrote it down, so it must be true. Two four hundred thousand ones, which is, I mean, it's just mind boggling. You know, I know. You know, I mean, I know it's not a hundred thousand dollars, but to me, it it. It's still fun. It's like playing Monopoly when you have all this money, even right. though it's, you know it's not real. It's still fun, and this right. is actually real money. It's just not a hundred thousand American dollars. Malware, thank you. Oh, this is malware scan. Oh, yeah, that's why you had to change this thing. Oh, the other was malware. But then, oh, okay. Oh, so then he had to over to an alternate account so he can up the taco money limit. Wow. Thank you, malware scan, and tell malware I said thank you. <laughs> See what I did there? Pretending they're two different people. Uh, no, we appreciate it. Adam does too, even though he's leaving. Yeah, I still appreciate. I will still appreciate it long after I'm gone. Malware. And, and then, uh, and then, malware. Back to malware. Gifted ten MLC podcast memberships. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. So let's make it members only, even though it's extremely late. Just out of respect for malware and malware scan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Furious, how could Bob fare as a used car salesman? Come on, old car. <laughs> Bob, Bob, I don't know. I don't know if Bob believes his own bullshit or or if he just he just figures no one's gonna no one can prove, but the fact he's like, I went, I I I'm I I I take you down when it's like I go up against him and I crush him. And then he's trying to pretend like he's he does he's doing better than me, and then he's doing better than when he was working at my show and 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 his current show and even even the shit wears like i don't think so bob i don't think so bobby bobby's like i i just got to i got to i got to i do a lot of pretending in my life how's that snowboarding trip to with perry <laughs> and then he's talking about huntington with the huntington uh, beach gig it's going to be fantastic i can't wait of course canceled i can't wait till Shuley cancels the gig uh, next weekend just coming up here because uh governors is like, yeah, we're can we're, we're canceling you guys. Eight, you guys sold uh two tickets each, four guys, eight <laughs> seats sold. Thank you, Furious. Mr. Rapey, Mr. Rapey Ray, Lenny, Bobby Kelly, Jimmy Martinez, Keith the Cop, Kumia, McCarthy, Levy, Kumi again. <laughs> Chad and Andy, why are people? KB, why are people so difficult? Very good question. Yeah. Why are people so difficult to work with? Jesus Christ. It's the rapey rate. Thank God you're on my side. Seriously, what's wrong with people? Jimmy, say, no, you forgot. You forgot uh, uh, Vinny Brand. Vinny Brand. Uh, call me, call uh... me again. Levy, Chad, uh, Ray DeVito. Uh, like Kumi again, though. Uh, yeah, I gotta, yeah, I should go to therapy. I should just read the super chat, go to therapy, and read the Mr. Rabia Ray's uh thing. Uh, malware scan and the DMS. Menji said she respects Ray for being <laughs> a low cow. Interesting, <laughs> holy shit. So she's more aware of what Ray is than Ray is aware. <laughs> she gets it all the way from Korea. In her second language, she gets it better. <laughs> she respects the guy, even though he doesn't know he is one. Mm-hmm. She thinks Ray, what Ray's For doing is a work. Man. It was like Ray said, Ray saying, uh, he's silly. Doubled up on today. Fucking Chad and Stevie Lou just sitting there trashing me. Both liars, 100%. I hate that shit, man. I hate watching shows where the dudes just sit there and lie the whole time. Well, Kevin would get mad at me that it, I don't watch the show if I'm not on it. And here's why. It's just bashing on me. I don't like I already feel bad about myself. I already don't like myself. I'm not going to watch a show shitting on me. And especially now, because that's 
what it's <laughs> like now more than ever. It's just shitting on me. Now so, like, more than I ever. don't watch these shows because it's just them shitting on me. And I get it. Half of it is for the comedy, but the other half is just, and like, uh, I did watch some of them like, um, cause I went back and watched it. Cause I, once it was, uh, I got messages that I, they're like, Hey, he uh, privatized the video. It's not up. And then I got messages. I'm like, now nah, let me go back and look at it. Like, I don't think they get it. What I say a lot of them, yes. I'm, am I a dummy? Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not a dummy. I'm a fucking idiot. But a lot of what I say is just comedy. It's silliness and stupid. I'm not taking this shit serious. It's silliness. And everyone's like, well, what an idiot. He would say, it's like, yeah, this is silly. I'm being silly on purpose. Oh, so he's in on it. He's, He's in on silly. the joke. He's silly. So, so, so Minji says she respects Ray for being goofy. Ray's in, he's being silly. She's in on it. Is that why he brings a, 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 to the hotel's laundry basket to be silly? Is that why he lives with his dead parents' friends to be silly? <laughs> Could you imagine he tries to spin it that way now? Is that why? Is that why the best? Is that, is that why the best year he's ever had was thirty k to be silly? As a goof, yeah. This is all. As this is all to entertain us. Mm -hmm. Got the MBA, silly, and never used it to be silly. Silly. <laughs> I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna get way more schooling that I need, mm -hmm. and then never use it to be silly. Uh, malware scan. Thank you, sir. Oh, you got to send me these. Uh, send an Adam or send. I got to read these because I like uh, DMs. Oh, the DMs. Yeah. Yeah. If she if it, screenshot. Minji said she respects Ray for being a lol cow. I respect. Uh, I respect Minji for respecting Ray. Yeah. To double uh, double reversal. Uh, furious. Wh whoever auditions for Adam C better not ask what the. <laughs> What the hours are? Like I walked to the elevator. <laughs> the hours. It's a listen. It's such a fun. You go to Spinal Tab. I mean, go to uh, YouTube and type in what are the hours and see if see if it comes up. I'm not telling Adam did, to do it. Did you? I'm just saying. Did you at, like? Because I would imagine there was a beat. It was a little awkward. He didn't get the joke. But then did you go Spinal Tap? No. Anybody? No. Because like, no, never... he he got it. He jumped. He looked at me. He didn't react or and he reacted. He, just said, Walk him he didn't this. say anything. Or... He just, he goes, hold on a minute. <laughs> and basically it was an open air cubicle. So people were coming and walking around. So somebody could have just waved to him and he was like, right. hold on a minute. Sure. So he literally said, he literally said, hold on a minute. I never saw him again. He, he, he came... made it look like he was just excusing himself. Just give me one yeah, second. Somebody had, somebody... That was it. Yeah, because people were walking around. He wasn't in an office. Uh, it was an open air uh, cubicle. <laughs> And so people were, so somebody could have just, I, I, I was, I was facing him. So I didn't know what was going on behind me. So somebody could have just waved and go like, you know, come here. It wasn't a big meeting for him. Right. And then, uh, but no, I didn't say, I, I didn't say spinal top. I just said, you know, what are the hours? And right. he, you know, <laughs> what for what, know. for, for, um, for being a for yeah. being an actor or for being no, for being a commer commercial commercial actor, actor commercial going actor. out for commercials. What are the hours? So what are the hours? I mean, everybody knows what the hours are. Fucking hilarious. And I I stole what it. I stole hours? it from Spinal Tap, but it's a great scene for Spinal Tap. Beloved <laughs> Chatter, I will be playing. I will uh, Beloved Chatter, I will be applying for the producer role formally before the end of the week once KB turns. <laughs> and we can team up to start shit talking. Yeah, <laughs> it's bound. I would say, yeah, April eighth is probably the day it'll turn. So hold off till then, maybe. Yeah, I can't wait to see what Chad has to say about you because he don't trust you already. No, I'm slippery. You never know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you can't. He don't trust you because you took away his channel. <laughs> let's let's a, Thank you, uh, Furious. And uh, after he sniped for six months. Yeah, used our music. And beloved, we gave him you. a nice head start to stop. Yeah, yeah, I, would, I would let him do it, except he kept bragging about how, right. how great he was doing. Yeah, and then yeah, then he gloated, and it's like, of course we're going to strike your channel, but it wasn't like... That makes me not trustworthy, though. Uh, Teddy, is Adam really leaving? Saddest day in MLC history. Sad day for comedy. Sad day for comedy. <laughs> you got it. And speaking of that, he wants an Earl hello. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, did I not it. give you the Earl? No, sorry. you never played it. Hello! 
I wonder if there Earl's going to audition. I hope so. Shirtless Earl. Teddy, uh, Teddy and Jack, thank you. He's saying the saddest day in MLC history. Is wow, it? Wow, that is really. Is it? That level of sincerity makes me not comfortable. Did someone gift me a membership? <laughs> well, momwer has been doing a great job this week, and and Ozone mm-hmm. too, right? Yeah, Ozone. Yeah, and or and uh, wait, is somebody else did a bunch on the twentieth? Oh yeah, and vaping sent me some a uh, little cashola on the side the other day. So shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to everybody. But seriously, the high rollers, uh, you know, you guys uh, again. People are like, why is Kevin? Listen, money's not bad. Money is not a bad thing. So, so, you know, and, 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 uh, I, I don't know what my point is. I'm pointing, uh, you know, do I, do I have, do I pay, uh, more respect to the high rollers? Yes. Yes, I do. Because, uh, they're great people. And, uh, also money is, uh, people need money for things. So money's good. Kind of saying- kind of how America works too. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to be a prostitute or something or, or be a crack whore, but I'm saying like the whole fact that, you know, like Liam's trying to explain to Ray, very simple equation. Like Ray, Ray, mountain mountain berates you, we treat you like shit, and you're going out there for free. Where Kevin might make fun of you and treat you like a lol cow, but he pays you. And literally when I when I treat Ray, when Ray takes an extra bad beating. Not necessarily from me, just from on the show, from the Super Chat. I always give him a little bit more. And like that one time I called him up. I gave him extra that day. And then I called him up to make sure he wasn't going to do anything crazy. Mm. So someone Cake hooked up jokes. Jukes. Andy Warhol did the first art piece with cum. He did? Oh, that sounds sounds right. His own cum, Philly Franks Five? Or you get an assistant? <laughs> Sits a raff. Where is Adam going? Did he land that gig with the Taylor Thompson CBS? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I was watching CBS last night, the game, and uh, her promo came on. It was fucking hilarious. Not hilarious in a good way. She's a she's my lol cow, Taylor Tomlinson at 12 30. Tune in. Kevin Barry, Adam, can we get her your mom's box? I don't think I got her your mom's box. I got a I got this. You know what's disabled buddy? Your mom's balls. I got your mom's balls. Oh yeah, no. He says when you when you leave when you when you leave, I think you got to say your mom's box, like Stevie oh, Lou did to uh, oh oh Stevie your mom's Lou's, box. Stevie Lou did to uh, Stuttering John. Oh, sure. That could, yeah, we could. I could go out on that. Uh, I might make a sign like Wiley Coyote. It just says your mom's box. Allegedly, maybe the club owner found out Shuli's a Shuli. The folks in Huntington Beach don't like Shuli's. Allegedly. Yeah, that's, that's is that Orange County, Huntington Beach? Yeah, because they may not take kindly. Yeah, but they're not going to cancel because of that. But uh, I like that allegedly. Uh, like I like that. Alle- I like what allegedly is alleging, and uh, and uh, if she, listen, allegedly, uh, if Julie sold any tickets, they might that club might still be open. But I'm sure they they sold the whole thing was like. We're doing a killer show. It's a world-renowned show. We're going to sell a bunch of tickets, and they probably sold two. And then, and then they're like, "Yeah, we're going to." It, we're the. It's they're probably thinking like, "It is sad that we have to deal with losers like this." So let's just go out of business. Let's just. It's it's not worth the fucking aggravation because running a fucking business like that, you know, especially when guys lie to you to be like, "We're going to sell a lot of tickets," and then they sell next to nothing, and you're like, "Let's just quit. Let's just fucking quit." As opposed to dealing with Shuleys, and and I, I hope they don't like Shuleys. I hope they don't like Shuleys. Allegedly, I hope it's not just allegedly. I hope it's right. actually true. Um, uh, allegedly again, back to back. You're appreciated, Alfredo. Gonna miss you. Wow, thanks. Allegedly, I thought I like, it was for like voiceover jobs. Like Where's Cassidy? I thought it was for voiceover jobs. Where's Cassidy? Uh, are you talking about the, uh, you're talking about when, uh, Oh, that when you, when you said, what are the hours? No, I think, well, no, it was, it, no, it, well, it might've been both, but it was more for, yeah, it might've been voiceover. Wait, let me think. Yeah. Maybe it was voiceover because, uh, Jesus chicken. Man the other day you minute. said it was, yeah. The other day you said commercials, but maybe it was voiceover. Yeah. But well, commercial voiceover are commercials. 
voiceover arc is they are for commercials but he but he's but there is difference between on air and and uh i mean on camera voiceover you're not on camera which is actually voiceover guys love it because they don't have to get dressed up it doesn't matter what they look look like and i can't uh, maybe i thought it was a joke because i can't do any voices except my own so maybe it was a voiceover holy shit fucking chicken wow. man actually stumped me because he knows you better than you know yeah you know. maybe maybe it's not me because i don't remember that holy shit uh where's cassidy yeah he's on tour with uh muppet babies uh, oh is he oh he's on tour with fucking well he was on tour with those with, fucking uh fatty and uh fatty and yeah, smoky yeah are you garbage yeah right one one's fat one smokes mm -hmm. it's edgy tour it's edgy right. Uh, Chicken Man, you stumped me. Uh, whatever, ha uh, Mr. Rapier Ray, whatever happened to backup Annie? How does he look with a shirt off asking for my deeply closeted self? Wow, yeah, maybe we'll get backup Andy. Uh, backup Andy, give him a try. Uh, that he's been working out in the bullpen this whole time. He's 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 poised, he's ready, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Kill Everything. Application for Adam Seed. I know things and I know how things work. I will save you money by making sure Chunky Chad doesn't get paid. <laughs> Chunky. Fuck, surely. <laughs> Wait, you can do every day and you're going to, it's going to be. Yeah, you. can you kill everything? He, it's going to be trainer. Mr. and Mrs. It's going to be a team. I could train a, a monkey from, I'm I, like, I, anybody could do this. It's no, it's so. You could definitely. Yeah, well, they probably got to do it's it. It's about together. the it's about the availability. So if you can, uh, if you're available, you're in. Uh, Leo Gunn, gifted. Thank you, Leo Gunn, gifted ten MLC podcast memberships. Thank you, I appreciate it. We 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 uh, yes 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 sir. Andy paid for the Christmas party, right? Right. Didn't he have to pay for? That? That's it's one of my regrets. favorite. That's one of my favorite stories. He, he rented out the fucking banquet room and then nobody came. And then Leo Gunn had to pony up. It's like every Shuley fucking show. They, right. they, they get this big I mean, room. I mean, they, they, these guys never catch on what fucking clowns they are. So, right. And Leo Gunn literally ruse the day because that's, that's what dragged him into this world. Right. So, so he, 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 uh, apparently he texted gino because gino would give out his number on his show so he texted gino and he's like is this really your number gino's like yeah and he goes come to the party so leo gun goes May maybe i'm wrong about this story uh i'm sure chicken man will update it if i got it wrong right but anyway so uh <laughs> so uh so leo go guns leo go guns leo gun goes uh, they have the big bank of room upstairs like six people show up they don't the the manager's like why the fuck did 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 I did I make this room private for you guys? There's only six people here, and uh, so I guess he shut down the party, but he made them pay anyway. He wanted them to pay anyway because he closed it for an hour or whatever. And so of course Gino didn't have any money. Gino ain't got no money. It's a fucking yeah. song. Gino yeah. didn't have enough money, yeah. so they passed the hat on. I think Leo, I think Leo Gunn ended up paying most of it, and and from that you know he became <laughs> friends with a. Ray, now he's friends with right. me. I mean, he, he's like, I don't know how many times he tells me, I, I got, he goes, I, I can't take this anymore. Now he's friends with Stuttering John, and he's, he'll be like, I, I gotta get out because <laughs> I gotta get out of it. And just because he, no he's good deed goes unpunished because he just wanted to go to a fucking Christmas party. Yeah. And he, because he thought there'd be a big turnout. Of course, he was the only, I think he was the only non employee of Compound Media there. Does Big A count as a non employee? No, Big A counts Big a as an employee. Yeah, no, everybody oh, was he there. Was, you count him as an employee. Yeah, I'm saying he was the only like uh, civilian. He was the only right. guy that that nobody knew who he was. <laughs> and then the funny thing was, Leo oh, Gunn God. probably doesn't remember this, but me and me and uh, Kumia, Kumia was showing me something on his phone. So I'm looking mm -hmm. at it, and then all of a sudden, Leo Gunn, because he's he's one of the party goers, you know. So sure. So he's looking over my shoulder as I'm looking over Kumia's shoulder. So Kumia goes, "Who the fuck is that?" <laughs> and I'm like, "He's a, he's like a celebrity because he's the only non-employee here." Right. I I had explained to Kumia who he Man. was. Anyway, good stuff. 
Uh, Leo Gunn, thank no. you for all for all you do for the community. Uh, Big W, I've been in between. I've been in between listening and moving furniture all over for my chick. As the old man used to say, I am very smart, but I can lift heavy shit. Sorry for the confusing super chat, homies. Oh, that's why. Yeah. I'll figure okay. it out later. I'll go back and read it later. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, clarify it tomorrow. No, because, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes. And plus, uh, like I said, YouTube doesn't make this. Sometimes they make the super chats way more complicated than they have to be because they start they start uh, auto-correcting. It's like, don't auto-correct. I know what I'm doing. Right. Thank you, Big W. John Mack, $10. Just heard about the imminent departure of Ad Rock. Sad stuff, KB. Get a good replacement. And no, you can't do it yourself. You're a blue chip brand now. Don't cheap out. I'm, qual I'm quality wow. merch. No, I can't. I'm not going to do. I, I listen. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do final thoughts. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I, I can't. I, I can't do. I, I can't do. I, I, I'm not going to do what the shit network does. I'm not going to be like this. Is the show? The sh the show is always going to be different things. So it's like. So, you know, it is what it is. So am I going to do it? it was, what, I was never planning on just going, doing every show solo or any show. Like, I just have to do what, what like, even today, I didn't know what I was going to do. So I, t I come on, I go, Adam, uh, why don't you just jump on and tell him what's going on. And then, and then you can jump off when I start playing these clips. But then I'm, but then I once, but then. Once all the super chats came right. out about Adam, I'm like, well, Adam should probably be They're here. Making these. references to Hooker Islands and things yeah, like that. So I then, had to come on to explain what they were talking about. Yeah, so then even then I just played it by ear. So so again, you right. could say I'm an idiot for it's just I mean, I didn't want to I, I didn't know what was gonna happen. So I knew I had these clips, I knew I was gonna be doing a lot of yelling, and then it mm. turns out I didn't have that much energy because the fucking weather's uh, crushing me. So I'm like, well, Adam should be here because most of the super chats are about him. So that's basically how I do the show. I literally right. caught on at four o'clock or whenever I jumped on four ten. I said, "Adam, why don't you just play the song? I'll I'll say we have an announcement." And so that's how I do the show. So is it? A, it's, it's no more planned ahead than that. Like right. even yesterday, you know, Chad was like, "I knew he was in with uh, Nick Swartzen. I'm figure he's drinking." And then and again, and then and then Stevie Lou jumped on. I didn't even remember telling Adam to send Stevie Lou the link. But again, that's the show. That's the show. So I try to keep it as like loose as possible as far as like as 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 opposed to like you know we're gonna watch stuttering john clips every day from now to eternity or any mm -hmm. any fucking thing where it's like locked in locked in place where this is the show the show is you know as it goes along i knew this was coming with adam so you know i mean adam has a good job so there's no point in in uh you know fucking that up was well, adam could in theory get in trouble working here right adam uh <laughs> i mean it depends. I don't know. Maybe, maybe with the new people, I I maybe could. Oh yeah, know. right. The, the, I'm the not. Old, it's kind of the your it's old the boss most, was was cooler. Yeah, I kind of was like the super senior at that company. They sort of just let me do what I wanted. And but your new uh, company's more corporate anyway. Yeah. So they might yeah. just might might not love that. So though. probably not. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> it can't help. Right. Let's just say that. <laughs> no, one time I don't even know if I can tell this story. I'll try to tell it diplomatically. But one time I was shitting on somebody, on uh, some guy. I don't even know. I don't remember who it was. Uh, Chicken Man would probably tell me who it was. But I was shitting uh -huh. on this guy, and then the next day Adam's like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah, hey, funny. he has a show on this on this network." I was I on a, in. I was on a Zoom call with that guy. Uh, the day I want to say like two days before. Yeah, so and, I was I like, mean, hey, I you know that guy you were shitting on yesterday? <laughs> I don't even remember his name. He goes, remember that guy you were shitting on? Yeah. Uh, the company I work for full-time, We he, like, does a show here. And I'm like, oh, small world, as it my was mom would like, say. Yeah, what I mean, small I, was, world. I was also laughing about it. And I said, I don't care. But it just, I was just Yeah, but, like, it, yeah, no. it, but it could you put, put you put you in a had, bit of a um, pickle. Yeah, I've had many conflicts of interest over the years that you nobody even knows about. Right. Nobody has a clue. But, you know, and I'll die. I'll take them to the grave. John Mac 86. Thank you. Uh, I remember one of my old man's favorite sayings. Love that a tell. <laughs> oh, that, my did my dad did say that. 
that's oh, mild, that's man. That's right. He did act. He did. So that guy's that, that, that so. kid's. He goes, Well, I think he has a, a chicken man will clarify the story, but I think mm-hmm. he, my dad said, uh, <laughs> uh, What's that kid's name again? Is it Dave Attell? He's like, Yeah, he's funny. I go, He is funny. Turns out he, my dad, my dad had a good, uh, good eye. He didn't, he never thought Neil was funny again, right again. No. Uh, Teddy, Adam, can you train me to do your job? I hate my job. I'd rather. I would really rather work for KB. You'll be missed, uh, Broski. Don't forget about us when you get on that private jet to California. Are you going to give a goodbye speech? Are you going to Huntington Beach? Yeah. Are you, you going to go do that? Do that room that uh, they just canceled? Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm working. Hey, you know it'd be room. funny. You know it'd be funny if it turns out uh, the rec room's not closing. They just told Shuli they were closing just because they didn't want to. That would be want those guys. <laughs> they, Then they open back up. Yeah, they're like, we're not, we're not really closing. We just, these guys were clowns. They, they said they're going to sell a lot of tickets. They didn't sell any, so right. we don't want to deal with a rebooking. We just said right. we're going out of business, and then maybe they'll just uh, reopen. Like when you pretend that you're ending a party because a lot, a lot of people showed up that you didn't want there. Right. Yeah. Just you know, and and Shuli and Bob would get a kick out of that because they love an old fashioned work. So they'd be like, right. turns out they weren't, they weren't going out of business. So uh, we're going to stay on top of this story. To see if that gig in Huntington Beach is actually uh, going right. out of business, or they just wanted to get rid of the Shuleys, as they say, get the Shuleys out of the neighborhood. Anyway, we're caught up. Great job. Uh, uh, we're trying to get uh, Kinji Mo. Uh, what's her name? Minji Ko. Minji Ko. Anyway, uh, <laughs> close enough. Yeah, you just slipped <laughs> it, but you were close. Yeah, Kinji Mo. So we'll try to get her on, uh, and uh, if not, we'll get her on next weekend. We got to get her on just to stick it to Ray. She stick it to Ray. Ready? Yeah, she seems good to go. Very. What she say to you? What she say to you? She said, "Yeah, I would love to." Um, Did you tell her I was going to pay her? I said, "Yeah, I mentioned some money." Yeah. Well, because initial. Oh, oh, oh. No, you know what? I I sent her a message before the show yesterday i forgot and so yeah so i did it i did mention money because we were messaging her one hour before the show so i figured to sweeten the deal and so she knew she knew money was involved yes well that's good no i want to pay her i mean she's talking about getting only fans and she's worth it yeah like i mean i'm not trying to use people like ray does right she wrote me back later that night what'd she say though she say said, yes. Slow. Say it slow. Deep. Say it slow. I'm about to take my brain said, out. Hi. What you, what's, that, what's that guy's expression when you take your brain out? Uh, hanging brain. Hang. I'm about to yeah, hang Yeah, you want to hang some brain real quick. Yeah, while you no, read I, that super chat, said, you read, read a response. Three exclamation points. Hi. Yeah, how many? Uh, three. Wow. Yeah. That's Indeed, serious. it was short notice. Because I said, sorry, it's kind of short notice, but oh. we would pay you. Because it was like um, 306 when I sent the DM. Uh, but I am interested indeed short notice, but, but three more exclamation points. I am interested. Let me know when you guys are doing it next. And then I, and I said, well, the time difference might be a little tricky, but you know, we're open to whatever. And then you brought up, you mentioned we could have her on the Saturday night show and then that, you know, right. Yeah. So I will, I'll throw that out to her. It's going to be exciting, everybody. It's going to, yeah. We got a lot going on here at the old MLC verse. Right. And uh, a lot, lot of people coming and going. Uh, Brittany just became a new member. Good job, Brittany. Brit- right. Brittany. Brittany. Anyway, uh, good job, Kevin. I was tired, but I, I fought right. my way through and I fought through the. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like, you know, when you're uh, back to back, when you're a basketball player, you got to play back to back games. And uh, you're like, you know, I just got, or you're a pitcher and you're like, you know, I, I, I came in tired, but I like fought through it. And, you know, then I'm like, you know what? And then like, I, I, yeah, you hear that a lot from starting pitchers. Like I didn't feel it early on in the early innings, but then I, then I got in a groove and uh, I did it again. I like how I'm giving myself props. Adam's just nodding. Like, huh, when is the show going to end? Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> Daniel Bray's calling it March Sadness. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Sadness. <laughs> Bray's broken memory. Dixon's broken channel. Lou's broken arm. And now my broken heart. Love you, bro. Adam. Not you, Kevy. Oh, this, Love uh, you, this, Danny. Is this one of my brothers? Might be. Olive Cox. 
Olive Cox. Olive Andy, Cox. for the next for the next producer co-host that comes after you, what's the secret with KB? Is that a picture of Ray in his uh, deathbed? Yeah, in his brace. What's the secret to K with what's There's the no secret? What's the secret with KB? What does that mean? Just don't. I would say the secret to me don't is be don't be a fucking idiot and yeah, don't be an idiot. Don't don't do a <laughs> show with Bill Schultz to stick it to me or to move the needle. Right. Or, don't do or, things that directly contradict most logic, all logic. Yeah, just don't be like you know. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna do this, but again, a, again, it's probably on me because as soon as I told Brian McCarthy, don't do the show with Bill Schultz. He's like, now I have to do it. So I and 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 Brian's an idiot. And same thing Ray Devito's doing. As soon as I, as soon as right. I basically imply like. It's not a good thing for you to go to Vegas. And he's like, now I have to go to Vegas. I mean, we're dealing with dumb people. but well, like- there's, a, there's a pattern of people typically. I mean, other than this, I'm, I have an actual job. But most of the time people leave for really stupid things like Bill Schultz. Yeah. Uh, gigs where there's no money. And yeah, to go nowhere. They, uh, they're not the improving at work. Yeah, they're not improving on their situation. <laughs> they're just like, I'm going to go over here. I'm no. going to double down no. on something stupid. Anyway. Uh, Lenny left for Rosh Hashanah, I guess. I don't know. Like, yeah, then I don't Lenny, know what started you the, Lenny started the Four Corners. and four, uh, Oh, the Four Corners podcast. We're, we're here to kill time. Do it right. with us. And I was like, wow, right. what a fucking business model. <laughs> Lenny. Lenny, 50K is the offer. Final offer. Yeah. 50k adam yeah i'll oh. talk to you off there but maybe we sh- maybe we should uh, uh reach out to lenny uh, even even half joke half not joke yeah i i would say my dying wish would be if lenny would i i will text him personally and say will you come on my last show oh yeah see what because, he says and just say everybody will be nice yeah see even, what he says and just yeah yeah see what he says well you got nothing to lose Right. And he'll probably say, will I get the 40K for that? I think that's what he'll say. Right. Well, because you already offered it to Bobby Kelly. I don't know what it was. was. Bobby Kelly will be getting the middle. Bobby Kelly will somehow cock block. He'll want to wet his beak for sure. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thanks to Adam. Thanks to all the super chats. Wait, let me give some shout outs. What am I crazy? Uh, We got some big super chats. I roll this down. I'm gone. Uh, oh yeah, Adam, you go down. I'll go up. Uh, uh, malware scan and malware. Thank you. Uh, uh, big W. Big came w. in with fifty big ones. Yeah, f- sorry, folks. We're looking Jim for a Tommy Penny. Seven names. I-, I say Tommy Seven names, and because uh, he did it against his wife's right. wishes. Philly Frank right. Five. Right. Chinless Bust- Panini. Gustav, of course. Chinless Panini's been killing it. Uh. Uh, being very very generous for weeks now maybe months i i lose track of time over here all right we uh yeah chinless all right so we're caught up mm-hmm. all right you guys uh and we got, got a buzzer one, beater one, one buzzer beater yeah uh uh sad to see you go adam thanks for keeping a legend of the 2022 compound christmas party alive uh hashtag good times hashtag somber skull happy to do it it's one of my favorite uh, moments i was not a part of it but just imagining it was incredible because gino had to have gino ain't got no money i mean he had to rent out the or reserve the banquet room and then nobody showed up no it was and a- then at some point there had to be a moment where like the manager or whatever they were mad the guy was mad was like dude you gotta still pay yeah you gotta pay us and you know he was like yeah okay right right right. and then Gina's probably like we come here all the time this is like my is my hangout right you're gonna embarrass me in front of my friends but you know he tried to laugh it off and then at a certain point the guy had to go no 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 we reserved it we're running a business money we're running a business i need x amount for the room and then, then he had to go around but I mean, do you think he asked Anthony for money? Do you think he, no, no, he like, wouldn't because Anthony, I think, wasn't there yet. But he wouldn't, he okay. wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't stoop that low. So instead of going right. to Anthony, he went to Leo Gunn. Went to Leo Gunn. Just a guy trying to have a good time, having trying to have a couple of laughs, maybe meet some quasi celebrities. Right. Who is and, the uh, only guy yeah. that came when he gave his number out on the show? Yeah, and he and Leo Gunn did it as a goof because he's like, I yeah, I, I'll come in. It's not a big deal for right. me to get to uh, Sullivan's. And he thought, you know, uh, you know, 
Gino's the clown for giving out his number. Leo contacted him, and no good deed goes unpunished. All right, great job, everybody. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Not sure exactly what time, and not sure if we're going to be here with uh, Kinji Co., but uh, we'll do what we can. Bye.